Niggas still going to Lens Crafters. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yo. Are we good? Are we recording? We are. I want to know who the genius at Apple is that made it so that Me. when you answer a FaceTime now, you have to press I accept twice. You have to press two buttons to answer a FaceTime. I think that is the dumbest thing in the world. I, mean, I also don't I love, love I don't love uh, having to go through speakerphone and hit the button twice. Like I, There should just be a speakerphone button. Listen, as many times That's I've corny, accidentally yeah. answered. You can accidentally yeah, no, accept the, uh, see? see? There you go. You was walking and your pocket hit the thing. You had to pop on. It's like it was on cue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's him, though. He can do that. Oh, you're... Oh. Hi. <laughs> it must be nice to just not even know what day it is or nothing, right? <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday. Yeah. You got wake, wake up after a hangover and just go about life. Oh, I don't want to broadcast that to the world. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go. All uh, right. I have a question for you real quick. Um, I'm going to the studio. If I... Uh, if me and my producer do something with fire, that's not yours. That's the labels, right? That's a nice start. That's a nice start. Ownership talk. Yo, what the hell is going on here? Why? First of all, go be original, you jerk. Uh, I, need to, uh, <laughs> I need to make a Jersey Club joint. Oh, yeah. oh talk to him. Talk so go him. make one, nigga. Get out of my catalog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not. Yeah, no, that's not a. That's not a me thing. All right, that's, I just need to know so I know where to put it. Well, but listen, if you do it and it get hot enough that somebody come to you about it, then your job is done. True. Is that bad advice as a dad? It's no, true though. It's, no, true. it's, it's true. If you go do it, nobody should be paying you no mind right now. Yeah, okay. if it, if and if it, it makes some noise, yeah, then somebody somebody, somebody will find you and they'll be at your door, and then that's a sign of good to come. And you can use that as press. Def mm-hmm. yeah. Jam still the- got enough for the buttons. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> all right, does that all answer right. you? Can I go back to yeah. work now? Yeah, have fun. All right, have fun. Damn, <laughs> wow. oh, yo. we're gonna we're gonna see when you need a cash app. <laughs> have fun. All right, love you too. That's what you're gonna love say. You Bye. Bye. That's hilarious. That was funny. Motherfucker. You gonna say have fun. <laughs> have, have fun. It's your yeah, little the, job working with it. Record. That's true. As a kid, I didn't care nothing about what my parents did for a living. Just just put it I on the know. table. Yeah. I didn't know shit. Like, when you really think back, what did you know? What did you know about how you how it got put mm-hmm. done for you to be here? You, did. you didn't know shit. Some, some niggas some, that was but, really fucked yeah. up, they understood. But if you wasn't in a real fucked up situation, you ain't get it. Or you ain't know you was fucked up. Nah, some niggas. Was fucked. Nah, I'm sorry. Had- nah, sometimes, fam, yeah, dog. Sean they, they was making shit happen, and you didn't really know how fucked up it was. Because nah, I'm, I'm gonna speak on my family. Like, moms missed a couple meals. We didn't miss no meals. Oh, cue all that I got is you. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you don't know how fucked up it is because you don't feel it. Got you. Some niggas, they miss meals with moms. You ain't missing none. Sean and them was eating steak. Yo, that's just down the street eating cereal. It was different for some motherfuckers. I'm not saying. No, you know, know what I mean? Poverty wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't get into that with Ish anyway. Because Ish ain't never seen poverty. I know. That nigga chose to take his little ass to Newark and be bad. <laughs> okay. What happened? What? you See, which, now which Ish are you today? Is it Harvard Ish? Because <laughs> you went to Harvard and you was busting guns. Which one? Tell me. Why so I, I know what's going on. Why? Why I can't do both, right? Put it up. Put it up. What an outlier. <laughs> These niggas are so stupid. <laughs> you put it out there, man. Yeah, yeah, that's your body. It's just the you. Yo, it's just a girl. Let me play that drop of my guy, man. Oh, my God. Jesus, that's hilarious. All right. Oh, man. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Watch Trey and record over this. Shout out to wherever you might be listening from. I don't know if he got that in his bag. Let my baby grow. Yeah. Yeah, let my baby grow. Give my baby time. Don't put that pressure on him. Shout out to wherever you listening from, whether that be Apple, SoundCloud, Spotify, Google. Well, so we. Patreon. Hey. Yeah, I mean, it's the vibe I'm on. We got good weather in New York. I was out in L.A. shaking my ass. I'm lying. I was out in L.A. on New York time in bed, 7.30, <laughs> 8 o'clock. That's some of the best sleep you'll ever get, yo. Honestly. You think I'm lying. Well, out of town. You I think I'm lying. Say a word. Nah, no, but you think I'm lying. But if you think I'm lying, it'll make for better content on the podcast. No, so you have to I take that position. I called you asleep. Out of town sleep is always yeah, nah. sleep. 
I was. I wasn't doing shit. I did the work. I don't know though. It was like uh, about nine o'clock. There. Yeah, it wasn't nothing going on. Hey, I'm doing it for the old heads today. Hey. Shout out to everybody. 30 and up, 30 and up, 30 and hey. And the ladies, the ladies, can't forget the. Yo, it's wavy, man. I'm in a good mood. Why am I mad that you're in a good mood? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I wouldn't be. I hear y'all out there. <laughs> I know they rocking out there. Yo, I was out at the old head party last night. Shout out to Don Pool. Brooklyn Chop House. Shout out to all the fans I seen while I was out on the street. A lot of fans, man. That's Our voices up. are loud. <laughs> then I'd be so embarrassed about it. They curse you out for yep. taking Friday off? Uh, a few of them. Oh, okay. A few of them. I got cursed. Like, out. when I see our real fans in real life, I'd be so embarrassed about some of my <laughs> my behavior on this podcast. <laughs> These are, like, really upstanding, professional people with families. <laughs> Niggas be like, yo, I'll be listening in the car, my kid taking them to the baseball game in the As morning. You, you just suck be your talking dick. about yeah. shit. <laughs> yo, fans, Joe Button Podcast fans, I will be better for y'all, I promise. He won't. Stupid. Nah, or, I will. Or not. I will. Hey, but and it's man. getting hot, man. Let me take my jacket off because I'm really him. He is not one of them. <laughs> hey. Uh-oh, this one I two steps to the dance floor. Hold on, let me turn it down a little bit so they understand what I'm on today. They know my body. Uh, this one I get up off the wall, slowly waltz over to the <laughs> dance floor. Huh? Might snap a finger or something. Yeah, find the baddest joint out there, get the snap and make some <laughs> eye contact with her. Get some synergy going. Throw a little spin move. She on the floor hey, by herself. Hey, hey. Yeah, she not. <laughs> Yo, what'd you say? She on the floor by herself. Um, yeah, dude, she got her friends. She got a little crowd around her. And you, and you, but it's a real. Come you, on, it's a real. <laughs> Yo, it's a real, real nigga moment. Real, come on. Real, Everybody out there ain't gonna understand it when a real nigga hit the dance floor. Hey, she'll leave her girlfriends. Trust me. Hey, wait a minute. I mean, let me get right in here. I got opinions and takes to give and shit. Leave my jacket, Erickson. This ain't the view. This ain't dancing with the stars, all right? We need shit array in here. Array, array. Right. <laughs> array. I got, got on that Amazon amp the other day. I heard. Got on that Amazon amp the other day. I tried to tell you. Let me tell you something. It was a few of them in there. It was a few of them in there listening to the vibes. I got to try that shit out. You can like, see people and interact with them while you're doing your thing? Listen, we'll talk about it later. This Bad is not man. an ad. This is not an ad. Shout out to everybody wearing glasses out there. <laughs> <laughs> How we feeling? Hope y'all are good. What episode is this? 529. I don't remember. 529. When you take one pod off. 529, you said? Yeah. You take one pod off and... You just have no idea what day it is in the week. Bro, one pot off feel like a month. I, yeah, nah. I feel like I haven't been here in ages. I forgot what my baby weekend was. I was fucked up with no pod, man. <laughs> Shout out to y'all out there that harassed me about us taking a pot off. We here, though. <laughs> Microphone check. One, two. <laughs> what <laughs> is this? What's that? Oh, <laughs> Welcome to episode 529 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Parks is here with us. Ish is here. Ice is here. Corey is here. Crusoe is here. Young boys in the back, how y'all feeling? Yeah. Great. Glad to see everyone. Glad everyone is here. Missed you Glad guys, to be back, man. Healthy, sane, and sound. I missed you as well. I missed feels, you guys. Feels, feels a little long. Feels like six months. <laughs> For real, bro. Yeah, I just different. feel like it's different. Yeah. It throw your whole week off. It felt good at the same time, though, I'm not going to lie. No, definitely. Yeah, that Friday off to what? just maneuver around <laughs> the streets. What? I started trying to rethink my podcast business infrastructure. <laughs> like, hold up now. We don't really need this. <laughs> yeah. I don't need a Friday. I mean, <laughs> they we could you. give them one a week now. They right, you. They, would, they would have your ass. What? Because they don't talk to you until you're missing. Yeah. <laughs> True. Duh. It was I'm ridiculous. They don't, they don't give a nuts. fuck about you nah. until you take that one day off. Duh. And it's like, who the fuck are the you nerve to ruin you. my yeah. schedule? The nerve <laughs> no, of the you. wild shit was, we announced it this time. And they still were spazzing out. Dude. It was less this time, though. I'm not going to lie. They were, they were appreciative of the announcement. They were. I saw them in the announcement like, yo, who said we was going to be patient and understand? <laughs> like, fuck <laughs> out of here. We, well, we don't, nah, uh, but listen, the Patronis is fed, though. Yeah. You feel me? Oh. Nah, they still don't give a fuck. 
No, the Patronians was happy. Yeah. It's crazy. No, he wasn't. How's everybody doing? Doing right? well, man. I'm not focusing on hate, only on love. <laughs> How y'all feeling? How's y'all spirit? Good, pretty good. How was y'all weekend, week? Mine was great. Bro. Excellent. I, I went and uh, dished yeah, the glasses, yeah, man. Yeah, changed your whole shit yeah, up. Yeah, man. I went and, got the, went and got the LASIK surgery finally. I have so many questions. Yo, you look mad. Funny, my nigga. No glasses on. We don't do glasses. You do look a little naked. That's hate. That's not hate. That's not hate. A lot of shit that come out of this mouth. That's bad. That's hate. But it's hate. It's hate, though. Me and you. He looked funny without glasses. Nigga waited his whole life to be able to see clear. (laughs) And now I got to look funny for that. Yo. I woke up, opened my eyes, and could see. You know what I mean. Yo, uh, niggas are accustomed to seeing you with glasses on. Well, now niggas gonna get accustomed to seeing a new me. There you go. You, I'm with. Don't laugh, new- Alex. <laughs> you good? I'm with the new you. Oh, all right. You know what I mean, I have questions. What's up? Should did it hurt? No, not at all. I didn't feel a thing. Do you? Uh, what's like the recovery? I mean, the, whole, the entire procedure lasted about twelve minutes. And then, like, the- and the second I opened my eyes, I could see. Oh, like I was done. Anesthesia. Local drops. I was awake the entire time. No sleep. I could have driven home if I wanted. Wow. What? Yeah. You have to like stay up for a certain amount of time afterwards, right? No. I went home and went to sleep. (laughs) Oh, shit. And slept the entire Saturday and woke up Sunday and was out driving like everything was normal. Oh, so you had, you were tired. There was some uh, recovery. Sleep, though. I chose to go to sleep the rest of my eyes, though. Gosh. I took some ZQL and knocked out. Oh, okay. Intentionally. Shit. Yeah. Okay, I have more questions. Give it to You have nice glasses frames. Mm-hmm. What do you do with them now? I Are you going to get the lenses? step on them. No. <laughs> burn them. Burn them like the LeBron uh, jersey. It's just expensive. No, 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 no. Eyes is expensive. <laughs> like sight. Put a little tent in them, make them some shades now. Yeah, I'm going to take the lenses out and just put some regular uh, tinted lens in there. No yeah. prescription, no more. No more. Nah. Be back. Hey, yo, boy. You let a nigga get a couple... <laughs> Fam, I work. I, I, I'm with you. I can't. I work I hard. Work. I don't I'm going to need the plug, bro. I'm, I'm on I'm your I'm going to need the plug. I got you. I got you. Wait, you still wear glasses? Sometimes. We oh, all wear nerds. glasses. Oh. You fucking nerds. Oh. We I'm all surrounded by No, no we all don't. What a pet. No, we all don't wear glasses. Two days yo. off of some glasses. Yo, y'all, y'all are disgusting. <laughs> yo, y'all really are. I know it is. I ride with my, I'm riding with gang. Uh, I know. It's cool. I'm going to catch up. Yeah, y'all need to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, I don't make enough money to get glasses. Wow. I'm going to go get my body done too, Ice. <laughs> there you go. You're a bad bitch. Yeah, that's I'm what, a baddie for the summer. You're a bad bitch. <laughs> but that's how the baddies look at the girls that didn't get their body done. Yeah, facts. <laughs> exactly. And, that, and, basic. And, and let me not just put it on the baddies. We some, basic, yo. Some of the real yeah. niggas too. We basic. I, yeah, I y'all basic. Oh, no. You got contacts in right now, don't you? I definitely do. Look at this nigga. You got to touch your eye and shit. Disgusting. Fucking heathen. It's all no, right. That's really, you keep squinting your like, I can't hear <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Oh, so now the hate makes like, how sense. How many fingers do I have? Yeah, like, now that's now you hate. Now yeah, you see yeah, why you hate. Like <laughs> yo, when I get old, yo, I'm going to be just like you. I'll give me a couple <laughs> dollars, I'm going to grow. Work, work harder. You got to work harder. Gotta yeah, got to work harder. Kim why K, you don't Why you don't work harder? Kim K told me I, I ain't get the memo. Pardon me. Well, I'm telling you, work harder, King. They flamed, the ass, they flamed the ass they up to tell y'all to work harder, yo. Yo, if you hate niggas, just say that, yo. Just say that you hate the person. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because no matter what she say, yeah, she she's wrong. She had she to can't. walk back, work harder. <laughs> yeah, she and can't. I and I understand why. But fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. You know, yeah, I it's the word. messenger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because we got shit to get to before we get off, words, off your ledge. Yeah. Ice, congratulations. Yeah, thank, yeah, you, man. Man. thank you. He can see clearly now. <laughs> the rain is gone. Oh wait, said. I was playing Can't You See Fires. Hold on. Yeah. You're gonna be able to see that box nice and oh. Yeah, all that shit we were talking about before. Huh? Hey yo, you used to have your glasses on when you was eating the box too? That is disgusting. I don't even do I don't talk glasses talk ish. I don't even uh, <laughs> miss me with all of that. Yo, if you eating if you eating if you You was eating box of glasses. Yeah, well, I don't crazy. wear glasses. That glasses crazy. was getting steamy in the front. I don't know what you think. They, they, they was getting foggy. <laughs> hey, Alex, is, is, do, y'all, do y'all do that with glasses? How that work? Yo, y'all straight? 
Yo, oh. and you was eating ass. You was up under there with the glasses Damn. on. And now, <laughs> and now, Alex, you gotta you gotta eat pussy and be like, you know what? Well, I don't need my eyes right now. No, you take the glasses off. <laughs> okay, for coitus. All right, more. good. And we're not starting with this because there are professional people <laughs> that listen to our they podcast. Turned it down already. And every time I'm in the street, those are the people I see, <laughs> and they ask me about some of the takes. The office didn't like that well, one. Yeah, you really be on some bullshit, but we love it. I played the whole lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> she asked too. Shit, a good nigga that styled me. Nigga, nigga that styled me last night that was in bird off running around picking the suits and she was like, you know, hate to be that guy. Love the bond. <laughs> no. Listen to it every day. A nigga bowed to me hey. the other day at Wawa. I was like, yo, fam, chill out. <laughs> Wait, you hit me? Yo, no. Stop. You got you got you got I niggas swear, running around. I said, no, yo, chill out, yo. You dog. will not overlook this. Did he kiss uh, the feet? <laughs> yo, look where yo, I'm dead ass. Then nigga, I was like, yo, stop, yo. Look chill where out. niggas is bowing the ish. At <laughs> Wawa. At Wawa. <laughs> yo, how far yo, down how did he bow? You, how are you king of Wawa? <laughs> <laughs> yo, you should be a shit. Work harder, yo. I know. Yeah, no, you really got to work harder. I do. I'm, I'm getting it. Nigga, Wawa try. was in, I can't even say Al 3. It ain't but the two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you was trapped. <laughs> yo, when I go in Wawa and the fan be in there, it's like when you was a kid running around the car. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go nowhere. Where you gonna go? Where you gonna go? I just run around little chips. <laughs> <laughs> but if they catch you by the toiletries in the bathroom, you finish. <laughs> <laughs> you are finito uh, in Wawa. Niggas, niggas is bowing uh, to you. Did he tell you why he bowed? Love the pod. Because it was you. Yeah, it's him. Said he loved the pod, dog. Oh, man. All right, so listen, let's get right to it. Let's do it. Let's get right to it because there's a lot to discuss. Uh, we took off, so we did, were not able to discuss Pusha T's album, It's Almost Dry. Last I saw, it was projected to do around 55,000 first week. Not that that matters. Uh, by now, I've had a chance to listen to it multiple times. Same. Same. Then y'all go first. I like the album. I, I, I started to give a review uh, last podcast. It felt like Daytona heavy to me. I think Pharrell got the better in the versus production battle on the mm. uh, on the project. Um, oh, the take almost jumped out. <laughs> Let him go, man. Go, go ahead. Go no, 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 please go. go. You go. You go. I, I wouldn't say that it's his best project, but it's a very solid project. And I like it a lot. 7.5 out of 10. All right, my, my take is kind of similar to yours. Um, everybody know my hate for Daytona <laughs> f- for reasons of it being too short. Uh-huh. I just felt like. Oh, he's hiding behind fake hate. No, no. I, Don't I, y'all I, worry. I've always been right there. I'm here to pause. The whole today. time. Was I'm there always, any other hate aside from it being a short project? With what with Daytona? Yeah, if it's that short, I shouldn't be skipping records. If you're gonna give me 22 minutes, it should be all fire, and it wasn't. And that you was my problem. How many records? Uh, two, maybe three at times. You did not skip three. Two definitely. Go and ahead. Depending on where right, I'm at, ahead. I might skip three. But anyway, back. It's to, your take, not mine. Thank you. Let me get my take. Uh, <clears throat> back to it's almost dry. It's a it's a really good project to me. Um, I didn't really. I don't know how I felt about the single, the the neck and wrist. Uh-huh. I was happy to see him in Hove, but it was something about the beat that I I, I don't know. It just didn't click for me. For I already me. got my hate off on that song. To me, it was the vocal levels being too low. Oh yeah, that was the only thing for me. But I love just so you remember. Probably one of my favorite tracks on there. Which one's that? That's the one with the uh, Donny Hathaway sample. I don't think that's the sample. I don't know what the sample is. I'm not oh, sample okay. guy. But um, Diet Coke I love. Call My Bluff is one of my favorites. Open Air, I Pray For You. All right, those, are the, those are my standout tracks. I even like the Don Tolliver and Uzi record. I didn't love that record. It's not much that I don't like about this album. So it's a great... It's an eight? Yeah, I'll give it around a seven and a half, eight. I'm not mad at it. It's definitely going to hold me down for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm cool. No I'm question. Not, I was running back, letting it play. Same. Do, do both of you have relationships with Pusha T? I don't. I do. I don't know him at all. I do. I'm just a Pusha T fan. But the beautiful thing of my relationships with any artist that I know, they know if I don't like it, I'm going to say it. They actually respect that. So me and Pusha talked about Daytona, and I still stand where I stand in it. That don't affect how I feel about an album. That's the other problem with being outside. I saw all the Def Jam people. Uh oh. Oh, they, they pressure, pressure they, on you. They did say they didn't know. They said, "Do we want to have push on? Oh, Let's okay. fucking push." Of course, we want to have more. Absolutely. 
I know I have a wild take. So let me not position it that way. And I'm working on this thing where I, art- I articulate what I'm saying without offending people. Mm. Yeah, I got to get to that point. I'm going to work on it. Because it just be takes. But the words you use, like, oh, it's just trash. <laughs> like, hip-hop, hip-hop, we've been removed, like, nuanced context. We used Big to be time. able to do that. Yeah. Now we are in a very literal space. The Twitter so, era has completely ruined. Uh, Elon Musk will change it back. <laughs> hey, we'll get there. I can't wait. We'll get there. Natural followers, finally. Um, the Pusha T project. It's cool. I thought it was cool. Let me try to compartmentalize. Pusha is he's push with rapping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hopefully y'all know what that means. Out he is there. one of the best. He's a phenomenal. Rappers. Yes. He is a phenomenal uh, rapper. Not only rapper, but artist. Uh, not only artist, but mind. I really, res- I just respect what he does and how he does it. So my take is not really about him. I don't think these beats are up to par for what I expect from a Pusha T album. Huh. I think the beats on Pusha T's last two, arguably three projects, this might be, and, and features. This might be his, his least interesting production project. I will back you on that 100%. The, the beats, his ear for beats, how he picks them, and who he picks them from. All that shit is important as an artist. And he's one of the best to me for picking beats that suit his style. Now, I'm totally aware I'm saying this about two gentlemen that probably have forgot more about making beats than I will ever know. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get that I'm saying this as the guy that maybe picked trash beats. But as a listener, I, I, I was disappointed. And these beats sounded like just skeletons. And even though I'm one of the beats, let me go, oh, where's the one beat where it's, it's just a sample and any song maker can hear how this beat could have been hard. That's the Donny Hathaway one, probably. Which is a John Lennon song. Like, you can't, it's, it's a John Lennon song performed by Donny Hathaway, produced by Kanye West, written by Push. Like, it's impossible for that to really, like, miss. You think it missed? I'm sorry? You think it missed? I don't think it missed. I don't think it was particularly uh, amazing. Because what I took from this... Well, then that's a miss. <laughs> no. I don't say that it's don't a miss. That don't mean it's a miss. Sam, you, if you, you have that type of sample... Great. Yo, yeah. if you take a sample... When they took... When 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 uh, when uh the Blueprint had the door sample on TakeOver, uh-huh. and then you heard the doors, uh-huh. I mean, a regular brain or a casual fan says, hard, but same shit. But nah, he flipped that. But you could hear he it's a difference. how hard that beat is and how how easily somebody could have fucked that up. Imagine if they just left it bare. Yeah. It's the same thing here. I get what they be doing with the bare shit. I yeah, know that yeah. that's in. That's mm-hmm. that's the thing. But sometimes if I got clearance to use pull from all of these greats, then fuck around. I I that other the Pharrell beat that I know how it sounded in the studio with no words on it. I think it's tre- it's the fast one. The, it's one or two. It's one of those early ones. Uh-huh. The fast one. No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even I pray for you. For what they did on the beats on this album, they didn't do it for me for a push album. I, I will agree with you on the Donny Hathaway record. He could have otis did it out. Like, Otis was a yeah, similar he, type yeah, of... Yeah, he wouldn't have done that to Otis, so don't do it here. Yeah. See, and I feel that sometimes from the from the producers. Like... I'm not going to call it lazy because that might have been the style you were going for. It but was, I think. It, it seems that way. Go for it on your project too then. Well, I, I remember hearing one of the interviews, I forgot which one it was, that he was talking about Kanye wanted that for his shit, gave it to Push, and then tried to take it back. That's how he ended up with the four bars or eight bars at the end of it or whatever. Yeah, I, the, the beats on this just were, weren't up to par for what I expect from a Push album. And I know that it's Kanye... And it's Pharrell, little, but I like the Pharrell. Beat. It's a little different for me. I I feel like this was him, even though it's Kanye and Pharrell, uh, two producers that he's worked with, you know, yeah, forever. I felt like this was trying something different with those producers, like trying to step out instead of what you would expect when you see okay pushes with Pharrell. You think of the clips records. Right. You think of the sound that you've heard. I don't want to give you the same thing. I can still link up with dude and make magic, but I want to 
Let's just try to push it over here a little bit. The Pharrell joint sounded to me like an updated Hell Hath No Fury. I mentioned yeah, that in the last, yeah. the last pod. Uh, more up-tempo, more, more drums. I don't know. I like this. I just I, I feel like this was him trying something a little different, but still sticking to the script. He like, did what he was supposed to do. And that's what made me curve my, my, my critique a little bit. Because if, if you're a rapper and Kanye and Pharrell are coming to you, then you it's your job to shut the fuck up. Right. Like... What do you say? Even when it sound different. I always go back to that 2 Chain uh, Pharrell record after he had blew up with that album. That next weird little Pharrell record he came back with, it was weird and different. That's your work, but it was weird and different. But if you're a rapper trying to come up with some shit, you ain't telling Pharrell yeah. if he's in the studio in front of you saying, this is the bop. You're not saying no. I believe he did say one of them. I, I believe it was Call My Bluff, if I'm not mistaken. He was saying like, that one frustrated him a little bit trying to catch it the way the beat was made. But that's, that my, beat is but that's my problem with this. Like, the beats that they catch, it's they gone. Yeah. But it makes it real easy to hear when the beat don't give you that. And I didn't get this feeling from a, just a lot of the, a lot of, a few of the beats. Mm -hmm. A few of the beats. I want to ask him about that process of picking and how it went. Who decided? Who has final say? Right. I mean, ultimately, I'm sure he did. It's his project, but he probably I, I don't leaned heavily, he heavily into what Kanye and Push were pushing him towards. No pun intended. Kanye, I would assume yeah. so, but I don't know. I mean, uh, so Pharrell, right. pardon me. Well, shout out to Push, man. Yeah, I like I'm, the project. Like I said, I'm, it, this is something I'm going to bump for yeah, a while. I, I've, I'm, I've been playing this, so yeah. I'm cool. Shouts to Push, and no, and it's I not got just it. I fuck with him, like. And I got I wasn't trying to start that narrative either, by the way. No, people do it though. Oh, you just saying it because it's your man. No. And I gotta hear how this sounds in the summer with the top down. I do. Yeah, I listened to it yesterday driving with the car, windows down. I don't, I don't got the convertible, but you know what I mean? That shit work. <laughs> well, me neither. Work, harder. You just, work, uh, work harder. Yeah, why, you're right. You're why right. why, why yeah. won't he? Yeah. Why won't you work harder? Yeah, you're right. Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> roof. No, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> roof, roof. <laughs> Fucking peon. Got a roof. <laughs> Guy's crazy. He got the roof still. Not That's even the soft top. <laughs> he ain't even got the, the rag roof, top. Is the roof pa panoramic at least? No. Man, that shit's crazy. Yeah. What, el what else came out? Blast uh, Project yeah, came Blast out. Rock. We had heard it already. We loved it already. It's dope. Well, that's my opinion anyway. It's dope. That's what I got for you. It's Blast. If you like Blast, you like this. People love it. People went crazy all week. But yeah, no. Nah. The girlies. All week. They went crazy. Particularly. The girlies. The girlies were blasting the blast. Oh, why do you love birds? Why don't oh you? <laughs> why don't you? Uh, did anything else come out? I don't um, think anything else. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. I wasn't listening. Major. Wiz shouts to him. He put his um Taylor All the Dice on on DSPs. Yeah, that's old. But I'm saying it's yeah. it's an old project, but I, I love seeing the mix. I like hit the DSPs. Wale's love dropping it. more about nothing on, on DSPs finally. Okay, so that's. I, I said this before I love when the Classic mixtapes Make their way because Although with the uh, Wish they had to remix A lot of shit for samples And shit like that and that Oh really Never sits all the way right Okay I didn't know that But I get it Yeah Bender Hey look I know the game <laughs> Um we, I want oh, I, I want whatever However K. Trinata Takes his coffee I want mine the same way <laughs> <laughs> That new joint Nigga took the little weekend song that I didn't particularly love. <laughs> Is it right? Here? Hey, he just, puts, <laughs> he, also he, Jersey. he just put his little. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know that Catronaut is from Jersey. No, I know, but he makes Jersey but, Bob, look, though. Oh, come on. Oh, man. <laughs> Already it's hard. We can't even come on yet. Oh nah, we well yeah we at Branchbrook yo we gotta go when we going to Branchbrook on a Thursday I tell you yeah nah let's go I, I seen Buck it. go I seen a few of my Listen. niggas popping up over there I'm about to start taking skating classes fuck with me y'all ain't gonna be skating backwards, <laughs> backwards. around me <laughs> wait backwards. a minute hey do we have to go to Meg next or can we do something else. Please, 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 anything anything please find something else. <laughs> anything please, else. anything. Else. Oh, there's a tour. There's a tour. That's right. That's hey, what I was saying. Hey, tours hey. are back. <laughs> you know, we talk about a tour. We talk about a tour. Wait a minute. Oh man, cut this shit off, man.
Because that shit off before I start doing something. Uh, <laughs> All right. Chris Brown, Lil Baby, one of them ones. Hey. Wouldn't it be two of them ones? Huh? Nah. It's one of them ones. Uh, one of them ones. Uh, this, this, this this the concert. Gonna be, yeah, this, it's going to be one of them ones. Yeah. Us in your city for one night. It's one of them ones. Chris Brown, Lil Baby. It's Mad Dates. I'm not counting them. Uh, Rolling Loud presents. Hmm. Oh. Get tickets at LiveNation.com. Rolling Loud presents. presents. That stood out to me. They're presenting this. <laughs> what does presents mean? That one stood out to me. React. Though. Why, though? I think Rolling Loud is on their way to being a Live Nation. Competitor. They're in bed with them, I think, right? I know, for now. Oh, okay. So you mean, like... Expand on that. Like, live, what you're saying. you understand what I'm saying? I know what yeah, you I do too. Yeah, like, Live Nation is the go-to with regards to tours. They might be already. But it wouldn't say Rolling not, Loud. Not competition. But, I'm not yeah, saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But, on their way to But modeling that. themselves yeah. to do what Live Nation uh-huh. is doing. Okay. Like, even with the baby shit. They gave the baby 16, 17 dates, remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that was a Rolling Loud thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think they're on their way to... Branching out from festivals to actual concerts, at tours, etc. Could be. Well, the thing okay. about that is, and I'm not serious in this out, Rolling Loud right now does a few big festivals. New York, they mm-hmm. do Miami, mm-hmm. right? They got a couple mm-hmm. of But it's not there. international too. Yeah. Yeah. Great, but it's not their space, right? Back to our Coachella fight. When you say space, you mean the physical it's not space? not their land. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, and that was part of my argument with the Coachella fight is, yeah, J. Cole could fucking throw Dreamville Fest, but I'm talking about owning the land. Okay. That's different. Mm-hmm. When you need venues, you got to go holler at Live Nation. Mm-hmm. And Live Nation has the venues on lock. So, yeah, they can't alienate that. Now they can't just start popping up no, everywhere no, as with right rolling now. loud. Presenting. But, but I, t- I understand what you're saying. But when they start getting they spanky up, now we, I could now go holler at. Yeah, we don't go have to go holler at the 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 Or or because it's all real estate. If I can't get real estate with the venues because y'all got it on lock, then I'm gonna get real estate with the acts. Yeah, and now you got. And see now that some way. of these artists that mm. want to perform at Rolling Loud, they are Rolling Loud. Gotcha. Just like Surface URL. And now, when you want our acts in your venue, come holler at me. There it goes. But Ice, you said you're going to this, right? Oh yeah, I'm going about four dates on this. I'm not going to any of this. I think I seen some <laughs> bird off, and I was scared. Uh- <laughs> 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 so stupid. Nah. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say what? Nothing. How did they buy the suit? <laughs> well, was it the real one or was it the, was it the fake Dirk? No, I, no, you're not. <laughs> no, see, I'm, and that's why I don't even play them little games. That fake Dirk better chill out. <laughs> no, no, I didn't know who it was. But whoever it was, about three or four people. But the last nigga was like <laughs> an Armenian robot. Mm. Like he looked like he was there to protect them. Well, but no it looked school. like they could have protected him too. <laughs> And they looked at everybody like it was something going on. I'm like, no, it's bird off, man. <laughs> this talents nigga look at me. I'm like, yo, come on, give me this belt. Let me get the fuck out of here. I, I got to go. Yo, yo, please, pay yo, please. <laughs> <laughs> yo, please just give me my cufflinks so I can leave, yo. Please. Oh, man. Oh, oh shit. Uh, but uh, what were we talking about? Festival. Festival. Season. No. Festival. No, we were talking, talking about this specifically. Lil Baby, Chris Brown. You're going to this. You're excited. Ice is going to be front row. Yeah, VIP I'm, tickets. I'm in there. I'm, like Being I said, I'm, I'm in at least four. Nine. I don't know. Do I want to see how this is going to play out, though. What you mean? What you mean? Like a big successful tour, I'm sure. No, yeah, of exactly. course they're going. No, I'm talking <laughs> Sold out about tour. I'm talking about how they going to coexist on the stage. They don't have to coexist. Little baby's going to open for Chris Brown, of course. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. No, no, there's the no end. End. That's, that's it. it. That makes sense. Yeah, I seen people asking when it's what. Yo, they who opens for they, who? They could have done the bullshit semantics. Uh, there ain't no headliners yeah. on this I think one. That's what it is. They're both Co-headline. at the top. And it don't matter. Lil Baby gonna come out. His fans will be there. Yeah. Early. Yeah. And Whatever then, time yeah. he going, his fans will be there. And mm-hmm. it's rap. It's gonna be a totally different vibe. Somebody kind of else. It's not set. like they let, letting another rapper come on after him. Right. right. They're letting Chris Brown come on after him. There's no Con- shame conflict. anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. These, That's not a slight at all. He's got hits for 20 years at this point. No, like, he got fits. Exactly. It is, it is what it is. I like that every time Chris got heat on the way, the tour is set up. 
He don't play. He's one of them ones that, yo, I, my tour coming. The stream. My tour's going to sell out. My album is going to sell. Like, I'm consistent with this. Every time he I drop. He does it. Yeah. Y'all can hate all you want. Every time I drop, I'm here with it. My and, numbers are all across the board. And since when? Because Chris Brown came out in what? 04, 05? About that. Something like yeah, that. Yeah. Something like that. It's close to 20 years for Chris. This generation don't applaud longevity the way we used to. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Y'all take time for granted. Little young fucks. Nah, they just <laughs> this generation is just when we yeah. don't like you for whatever reason. Chris, None of that other shit matters. Nah, Chris Brown been rocking for my son's whole life. Yeah, Tiger yeah. Woods been playing golf longer than my son's whole life. Like, did they just skip certain shit? Yeah. I think you get caught in the and moment. then they just want to pop out and tell us about ourselves. Why are you eating hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> These little niggas want to fucking. They got all the time in the oh, world. You saw to the little microscope, hot dogs microscope under the microscope video. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck. I'm I'm eating a sabret. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I don't care what they put in. I know I it's bad. It's they too fucking, late at this point. They capped yeah, up some bullshit from the farms. I know we harvesting wrong. Yeah. fucking. I get it. It's all good. I it's not like I'm so, living so off that, the hot dogs. So it's it's a hot just, dog. The hot dog good too. So what you want me to do? Some of us couldn't eat back in the day. You can't now. Like it wasn't food. Yo, you didn't need to put it on the screen, though. And not for nothing, there's a... You know they have, like, certain allotments of flies and certain shit in every food. They do. I don't Yo, care, listen, bro. Hey, yeah, we don't care. Put some pork and beans on that shit and call it a day, man. <laughs> uh, shout out to Chris Brown. Shout out to Lil Baby. This tour will dogs. be great. Ugh. And hot dogs. Uh, something in the water festival. It's Pharrell shit. Um, in April, in the no, no, no. You ain't supposed Black, to squint, bro. And couldn't let go. The Shanti You're not supposed shot. to squint. He's squint. Baby Tate. Um, Yo, that's hate. Yeah, that <laughs> is, that's hate. That's, that's hate. hate. That's hate. You right. squint too. I squint too. What? That's you, hate. You squint, you squint trying to be a baddie. Yo, where's your glasses I ain't at? Squinting for clarity. Yo, go on. <laughs> it's different. Yeah, but he ain't got his glasses on him like y'all. Oh, no, you right. don't. I, I mean, nigga could eat hot dogs and pork and beans, but they don't got glasses. Bitch. Yeah, and this is the, like kind of what I mean. Like the corporate people, when I see them in the street. Like, come on, away from the hot dogs. Nigga, yeah. Some, well, yeah, this is, something, something in the water. water. June seventeenth through nineteenth in DC. This is uh, Pharrell's festival, and it's a lot of names on here. Yeah, it is. I went back to that John Batiste album. His name is on this. I went back to it, yo. What's Stop that? it. Stop it, yo. That ain't it. Stop it. Stop it, Grammys. <laughs> that was a pander award. They pandered. Yeah, it was. And I like John Batiste, but me too. But that is a pander fucking award. Yeah. When you go back and go back and listen to that, I knew I wasn't bucking. We was quiet on that because we happy he won. Shout out to John Batiste. We yes. happy he won, but they got to get it together. Um, I'm what you got for, on this? Nah, this is, Are this you is going dope. to DC? No, I'm not going to DC. This is not a festival for me. I don't it's, like what they do. The you know, as much as we joke about the big headlines with the smaller text, alphabetical yeah. is very difficult to see what's going on. Why? Because, like... Because he didn't get LASIK. <laughs> <laughs> we keep saying it. And, you know, see, like... And he didn't, didn't he I like go that. to lens craft. I like that. To look. Because this is a weekend festival. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So you don't know who's on what day. Yep. This is just, yo, buy your tickets. Buy your tickets, nigga. You I don't like know that. what day you're going to see who on. Buy your tickets. B, I love you. We, we could assume who <laughs> the... Big, the big font that people would be. Is, I love that record. That's, a, that's my guilty pleasure. That shit is crazy. <laughs> that shit no, is crazy. No, no, no. That shit Y'all don't fuck with beer. You gotta I fuck with beer. Yeah, I love beer. Yeah, you gotta fuck with beer. That yo. London shit is crazy though. Devito gotta fuck with him. The hell is Denzel Curry up to? He put out an album recently. It's pretty dope. Chloe and Holly, emotional oranges. Gracie Abrams. That's a nice Uzi, lineup. Lucky day. That's a nice lineup. Push pushes there. Of course. I went to Lucky Day's show in New York. Shout out to him. How was that? Great. Tyler's Really, in. really good. Uh, really nice crowd. Packed up Terminal 5. Nice. If you're a Lucky Day fan, then you weren't mad at any of the records he did. He did all, he did all the records that you would want to hear going to that show. Live um, band too, right? <coughs> is that live band? Yeah, I think I saw people. Keyboard, got- keyboard player. Live-ish. Live-ish, okay. Keyboard player, I think, was live. The drummer went crazy. Mm. You need a crazy drummer. That drummer went, he was out of his mind. Um, And everybody played in parts. This is what I think. I can't confirm this, and I haven't spoken to him. Some of that shit was pre-recorded, and it sounded like that new liveless audio, whatever that... 
Lossless. 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 The sound in that building was impeccable for a live show. Like, some of them dudes was coming to the stage fake playing guitar. Like, um, fam, I, I'm a musician a little bit. Like, <laughs> I know when you're not playing the guitar. This it's has possible. to do. This has to move. C- certainly wouldn't be the first. Oh, they wasn't, arm. they wasn't doing that. No, I'm just saying. In parts, they would come to the stage for like a solo, and they help. They helping him with. They helping him. They up there. They adding a the presence on stage. So yeah. they got the guitar. The guitar is beautiful. It looks great. You're doing all of this shit. The music sounds like the best shit in the world. It works. It's only a musician in the building that's gonna say, "Hey, he's not playing a guitar." Okay. The person watching the show don't really care. Yeah, not at all. It's but part of the show. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they it's part of the, the show. show. Uh, hey. But outside of that, the show was great. Shout out to all Lucky Day fans. I was in there with the nasty two step. A lot of ladies in there. It was good, man. That's dope when you go to a show and and like sing said, with the girl next to you <laughs> that you don't know. <laughs> Not catch, even a, that. catch a little vibe. Eye, wait, <laughs> eye contact. Wait, this your song too? Wait. Yeah, I hate Yo, when y'all you, do that. Yo, what you know about this? Yeah, Yo, how you're too young. How old are you? Shrimp great. You, you, you oh, girl. wait, you're not young. <laughs> <laughs> that shit worked too. Nasty. I love my little nasty old man mm-hmm. game now. It's so, old, man. It's so nasty. Yeah, it worked yeah, though. Yeah. 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 It worked. Yo, y'all good? <laughs> A lot of yeah, laughter yeah, from back then. What the fuck was that about? Hello? Y'all straight? Nah, nah, they, they good. They good. They good. They. It was you, nigga. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> they good. You talking about they? Bad people. Move under the bus. Uh, but nah, I was yeah. saying, it's dope when you go to a show, and like you just said, um, if you're a Lucky Day fan, you're not mad at any of the records he played. Like, he played what you wanted to hear. Because I've been to quite a few shows where it's like, ah, oh, man, damn. Man, we thought we... What they were saying about... Um, I'm not going to say a name, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you get fans complaining that, damn, they, you didn't play none of the slaps. So that's dope. He played he all the slaps. Proper show. He played every one of the slaps. That's I thought he should have played a few more uh, a, a few more slaps from his Grammy Award winning project, A Table for Two. I only heard, uh, and shout out to Joyce Rice. Uh, she that, was the, that was the uh, duet album, right? Yeah. I can see why you would not play as much of that. You just won a Grammy for it. But I'm saying, you know, every song yeah, is featuring somebody. So. Yeah. Yeah, but you have your part. A you lot of the records, and that's why his show was so great. He didn't. He didn't really necessarily do entire songs. Uh, okay. Like only of the main slaps, but like misunderstood. He came in at the second verse, threw the bridge in, uh, on the table for two records. Joyce Rice was there, so he did that record. Dope. Another record, he started at his verse. He could have just started at his verse a little gotcha. bit, but nothing to complain about. I'm picking at straws. The show was great. Shout out to Lucky Day. Thank you. It's just a few shows I'm not going to miss when they come to town. I feel you. Yeah, that's and me. He, and, and he's on that list. Certain people come to town, I'm in there. Like, I was look back to that Pharrell Festival. I was just reading the lineup. Yo, he got Ray Schremer on there. That yeah. might change things for me because I've been waiting for them for a lineup. I've been waiting for them too. I ain't going to And this is summer. It's I, been a long time. This is summer. So if they doing a show in the summer, that might change a little what bit. What was their last proper like group album? That shit was like... Years, I'm five ready. years it's ago, been, it's been years. Yeah, niggas was doing that uh, the stu- stupid freeze man challenge in the club around that, <laughs> that time. Might, yeah, that, the mannequin challenge. Yeah, sure. The mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny era. <laughs> yeah, was, it was an era. Wild, that shit was a few years ago too. <laughs> niggas was really yeah, yeah, was doing that. Shit. Why we don't get to yeah, revisit when they do stupid shit? Cause you gotta give them grace. Cause they yeah, I was in the club eating young a pizza one time. Anybody just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I said, like, if y'all think I'm gonna stop eating this, <laughs> if y'all think I'm gonna do this, <laughs> you fuck the whole video. Y'all up. think my cheese gonna just? Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. I'm eating this pizza. Stupid ass stripper stop stripping. Yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a, a minute, minute, Ma. Mid, you mid, have to keep mid moving. bounce, mid bounce. Yeah, yeah no. like chick was upside down on the pole and, and froze. Yeah, don't do that. Real Don't talk. do that, mom. You like no, I'm dead ass. Yeah, you gotta get these young dummies some grace, nigga. Y'all was planking, so give give them, let them have their little freezing shit. Who y'all? Who is y'all? You, nigga. I thought that was I was planking in my house. You was and at my ex's house <laughs> when you was hiding under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> no. So why would you mention that embarrassing chapter in my life? And I don't do that to you. Hey, yo, dog, keep it look, moving, see, man. Look, yo, you yeah, better look, 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 look. Oh, man, this guy, yo. Yeah. This guy is a nutball. <laughs> and no, that's not when I was planking. But, but yeah, I plank. That yeah, was so stupid. So let, yeah, so let them have their stupid shit, too. That's all. Fan, these niggas was chasing, uh, what's the little the video game shit? Ice. They, they was going to catch 
Pokemon. Ice was jumping out Yo, of cars. Yo, going to for- catch Pokemon <laughs> like an idiot. You did our dumb shit too. Yo, you're an idiot. <laughs> I, that was back when I wore Just glasses. Just come out dog. and say it though. Yeah. That was back when I wore glasses. Nah, that's different. true. It's that- different. So you know? how'd you even see the Pokemon? I had glasses, yeah, glasses on back then. Oh, okay. Because see Pikachu without the glasses. <laughs> yo, I, yo, I watched my son run out to play in traffic trying to find a Pokemon. I was like, I'm not explaining that to your mom. <laughs> That's not my teachings. <laughs> That's not. I didn't know you was doing stupid shit like that. <laughs> uh, future is dropping. Album title called I Never Liked You. I love it. That's dead ass, though. <laughs> like... <laughs> This is a beautiful uh, cover that they picked. No, it's yeah, a nice suit. Cover's Purple it's and a gold. Nice suit. The color, yeah, the colors in this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Little, little beige. I never little liked gold you. gold matched the, the leather. And Future comes out echoing something I said a little while ago. He's saying, yo, I'm getting sick of the toxic narrative. None of the girls that say any of this shit, he's saying they were toxic. He's saying all the girls that say this about me were toxic. <laughs> How you expect me to not be toxic to toxic people? Smooth. I agree with that. Could possibly be true. He's on his Johnny Depp shit, man. Yeah, he said like, we just never hear from them, <laughs> and that is so true. <laughs> no, Johnny Depp and, and Amber Heard <laughs> are. That shit is a mess. They got live streams like yeah, around John, the clock. <laughs> they John, need him. Johnny about to win an award just for his fucking accent testimony. Yeah, because she up there with Max B lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, come, come on, bro. <laughs> Y'all don't hear that nigga up there? There's nobody, Johnny, Johnny There's nobody be- worse than Max B. Johnny Depp better than me. Johnny, he up, nah, he up there. He ridiculing him. He need an award. He, I just said that. Yo, he's up there. He's just ridiculing the nigga. You sir, I ain't watching. Yeah, yeah. He's that, he's, he can't oh, no, be. You, bad see, you ever see the little snippets? Fair. All you gotta do is go on YouTube. Look, just, is that bad? The nigga I'm asked. Watch it. Right. I got asked the same question a couple times. Like, yeah, yeah. Just ask him one more time. Yeah, for the for the fourth time. <laughs> no, I did not do X, Y, yeah. Z. <laughs> like. Yeah, f- take you five minutes to find your papers. Go ahead, find them. I'll wait. Oh no, nah, they're talking to him like Duh. that. He's staying at. Yeah, he's on no. the stand saying it's that. a mess. Yeah. It's a mess. Oh, shit, I find it hard to believe that there's a lawyer as bad as Max uh, Salute was though. I mean, we'll get to it. Back to future. Yeah, back to future. He couldn't. He could everybody's right. celebrating. It's it's this. You know, uh, toxicity back. I, I, <laughs> I guess I'm just getting old. That that oh. shit don't do it for me no more, man. Age just out, man. Go I'm ahead. sorry, you don't like the toxic shit. No get into more? it. I don't. Age just out, man. Take a nigga glasses away. <laughs> I don't, bro. First of all, I'm sorry. Ice, I ain't gonna hold you. Ice did a, has done a lot of changing in the matter of a year. <laughs> I'm a change. No, no, no. I'm just that getting started. True. First of fat boys break. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Part of the left. I'm gonna yeah. be some super changing. <laughs> Y'all ain't seen Yo, shit you got, yet. You got more to come. Oh, I got mad shit lined up. You got skims. <laughs> you got some skims in the talk. <laughs> I don't. I don't have much to say about the future project because I haven't heard any music. Yeah. Well, yeah. you heard the one single, but I, which I, I love. Is you think that's gonna be on there? The Valentine's Day record. I think so. Oh. I could be wrong. I like that record. I, I thought it could, record. you know he just do and even if it's not, but I do like I do like that Valentine's Day record. Um, and that's it. I don't have anything else. Yeah, we'll, yeah we'll find out when yeah. when this drops. Come on, we will run away from this Meg topic like Carl Lewis. Won't we? Sure will. Come on, our the baby. <laughs> All right, the <Da> baby. <laughs> we will run from some shit now. All which, right. So which so. one of the baby topics do we want to <laughs> start with? I'm so sick of this nigga, man. I, am. It's, I can't. I can't hold it in. I can't hold it in. I'm sick of him. I, yeah, None I against him personally. Out. But it's too much. Yeah, it's too much. Fam, I'm gonna have to mute his name or something. Nah, what's gonna happen though is we be taking up for him because he's young. We be asking for grace. He do some dumb shit. We take up for him. When you just start compiling a list of stupid shit, as a black man, you kind of gotta be like, Yo, uh, tie them. No. Uh, I think that's you and Parks and. A lot of other people that beg for the grace of some of these felons and goons. Ice and, <laughs> well, my, ice, ice and myself <laughs> ice be very clear saying, in saying, free the take ice. some of these niggas off the streets. No, it's not Ice. But some, no, Ice be down with no, taking I mean, some I of these the, niggas off the streets no, sometimes. No, no, yes, no, he no. is. Just not He the just one. like, he, the few niggas he like, he wanted them to come home. He I want, want, want Pusheis to come home. They be the sum of the month. Not all of them. Pusheis, he took the gun out and shot in the strip club. <laughs> and he, he dropped 40, nigga. Oh, give my shots. That was, well, that was the first mistake. 40 what? Shots? <laughs> no, he dropped 40 grand yeah, on the no. floor out of his back pocket. 
<laughs> well, how much did you value that forty grand? If you just hit your it. back pocket walking around. My forty back. <sighs> Listen, the baby is seems like he's walking straight. It seems like we had a show, a professional <laughs> professional place. Mm -hmm. And you would think that he wouldn't fight his artist publicly while people are recording. Right. But here we are. You're wrong. He swings on his artist whose name is Wisdom. Wisdom swings back. Fight looked like it would have went a little different way. And then somebody jumps in. Mm -hmm. And that's my problem with this. Because then the next little footage they leak is that Walmart footage where it looked like the fight might have been going one way and then something happened. Yeah. And I don't like that. I don't like that. I know that's the time we're in where you got to worry about those types of things happening. But that shit scares the shit out of me. Where I could go somewhere, be provoked. That's why I don't hit nobody, yo. That's why I don't. That's why it got to be reactionary. And even in that, you could lose your life. Word. What you What you mean? Um. What I mean? What? Like I understand what you meant. Like something could go a certain type of way, or you could be somewhere and something could go a certain type of way. You could be somewhere. Somebody could punch you in the face. You could start defending yourself, getting the better of that person, and oh, they could pull out a gun and shoot you, and you could die. No, that's what. I, that's what I. Yeah, because or somebody they, that that you wit, with them. yeah, somebody yeah. that you wit could yeah. be the one to lose their life in that moment. Because the original story, I didn't picture any of that. Me either, me either. And how it was it was uh, definitely presented differently. presented a totally different way than what you saw on camera. It was a total different presentation than what I. But saw he on beat camera. beat that case. He, he did. Yeah, he yeah. beat the case. I, I think uh, they have standard ground type. They had law, what's the name lawyer too? Wherever that was at, so, <laughs> they had Max B lawyer too. The state. For real, they would have had that scene there, right? That's what I'm thinking. Like, how's this magically just come out? No, nah, they saw that. They had to. Have. They had yeah, to no, the, I think it's a standard ground state. Like, once he saw the gun being presented, you're kind of free to. No, you're right. Do as you will. From what I so saw. Rest in peace to that, John. I did not want to say that. 100%. 100%. Um, so, are these things being brought up because there's talks of a civil suit, maybe? That's probably, what I didn't understand. Probably. Where's all this. Like, I, when I see stuff, I always wonder the why. Like, why now? Right. Like Rolling Stone, like it's a big publication. It's not like it's yeah, just leaked to the so internet. Yeah, so I'm like, why is this happening right now? Why are y'all putting this out? Like, oh, what? please, Rolling Stone. What you mean? What you mean? Yeah. Now, was that who was that that authenticated the, the the Meg text that put that on TV? The Kelsey text. I'm not was sure. that Rolling Stone? I don't. I thought it was CBS, but I could be wrong about that. We'll get to all of them. Yeah, we'll get to all of them. Not Rolling Stone. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was thinking about that. Um, all right, and that's it, man. The footage came up that Rolling Stone put out of the Walmart incident. There's more footage now of uh, him swinging on his artist, Wisdom. And I'm sick of it all. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all be wanting me to come in here with some, like, deep-ass thought-provoking take. I don't have one. I'd be sick of it. I'd be sick of it, and I'm going to do my best to stay away from wherever he is. Pretty much. Yeah. That's it. That's the best way. Like, yo, whatever. Seen too much. Trouble seems to I seen be too that much. direction. I've seen too much. So I'm going to stay over It's an here. energy. It's an energy thing. I've seen I'm seeing too much, yo. You doing this at the show? Word. We at the show. We paid to be here. Mm -hmm. Word. This is your artist. You yeah. just have that lack of... Fam, if you got that lack of respect for your artist in that setting, in that venue, along with all the other shit we done heard... Like, it's been enough now see, for me. We've seen it's, a lot. It's been enough now. Yeah, I'm cool. It's been enough now for me, for real. What is... The, oh, got it. Uh, <clears throat> this was funny. All right, break this down for me. Which one is this? Terrace Martin? Terrace Martin. Oh, okay. I actually felt him on this one. I, I know I know what he's going through. Oh, we're going to argue then. Come on. Let's do it. Dear uh, Terrace Martin says, Dear rap friends, it just hit me. I've helped people my whole career. I've helped the biggest artist to the smallest artist, whether it be producing a record or playing keys or sax solos or bringing in musicians to, en to enhance an album, to just giving game from all of my experiences. Now I realize that the love and help I've been giving for years has never been returned when I need it. I have waived publishing, credits, money, etc. on the strength of relationships, on the love, and to watch my quote-unquote rapper friends overpay these producers who come to me for pointers and tips is the ultimate slap in the face. So I am done. That part I like. I'm not working with any more rap friends. With love, 
Terrace Martin. See, that's why me and you going to be, you can't pick out what you like and what you don't like. Why not? Pick a side. No. Which part you didn't like? I didn't like the part where he's talking about other producers getting paid, whatever. That's, but it to sound, me, that's not. But really it sounds funny. like that's the part that really ticked him off. No, to me, it sounds like he was maybe expect, ex, expecting some reciprocity from people he's done favors for mm-hmm. and was probably not getting them. But then, then he find, threw the extra hate. Yeah, at but the then end. if I watch you go and spend bye, bye, top bye, bye, dollar bye. over here, and that's why you gotta, and that's why I'm saying you can't play both sides because that may be true. Until he introduces that last part that yeah. you don't like, I've heard that you gave all these people bread. He, uh-huh. I've been helping you for years. You ain't give me shit. Because look, he says, "Dear rap friends," he's not saying, "Dear rappers," right? Dear rap right. friends, these are my people. So I don't have no problem waving this fee. Clearing for the love, this for the quote unquote love. Yeah, for the love, you're my friend. Uh-huh. It's not until the next action that pisses me off, which is wait, you're giving this person twenty x or paying them period, and and, I, and I'm not getting reciprocity back to your point. Right now, I have an issue. The, that that's what I'm saying. That last line that you hate is where I see the whole issue being yeah, with it sound, him. It sounds like people are taking advantage of the friendship. Like, yo, you think because you my man, I can look you out for the love. And that's just okay. Uh huh. When you're willing to go and spend, like Joe said, twenty x over here, and just fuck me, like I, I get the frustration. I understand I see the both frustration. Sides, though, I, because if give you it really, because if you really doing it for the quote unquote love, you don't expect reciprocity when I'm doing it for the love. That's an argument that could be made. Like if not I do, expect, not talking expect, to Mike, please. Issue. If I'm doing you a favor, mm-hmm. it's a favor. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'm doing it for the love. You're my man. I'm trying to help you out. I want to see you win. Okay. So somebody can look at it from that, <clears throat> excuse me, that perspective. Whereas the producer that he might be complaining about is doing a job for a fee. So when mm-hmm. I find out that you paid this particular person a fee and I was doing it for a favor, I did it for a favor. I get both sides. I'm just trying trying to play But let me advocate. respond to that devil's advocate side. A large part of why I did the favor outside of the friendship it's because I thought you needed the favor. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think that you even yeah. it was even possible for you to give me my my rate. And I'm your man, so I wouldn't give you my rate. But now I see you giving my rate to people who shouldn't even get my rate, which means you just got it to give. Possibly. Now I have an issue. I mean, I'm I'm not saying he's not right in his issue. I'm just saying I see it from both perspectives. Y'all need instruments before he needs y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Terrence Martin's that dude. I'll tell Be you that very much. clear. Be very clear. Y'all will need him before he needs y'all. You got to be careful with these dudes that just play every instrument in the world and instruct and fucking, yeah, nah. Produce, engineer, yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, nah. He's that All dude. those Swiss Army Knife dudes. Yeah, all, all, of, all of your favorite records of the past five to ten years, he co-produced. But why like y'all But why y'all wouldn't pay Terrace Martin, man? Because right. he quote because, unquote doing it for the love. Because that's my friend. And that's why I said people take advantage of the it gets It gets to a that's dangerous why. place in, mm-hmm. in, in this industry. I don't like quiet resentments, though. I agree. I don't like that. Say something. So if this is his stance and I'm his rap friend, I would have liked him to have that conversation with me privately or tell me how he was feeling. I'm noticing this a lot in music. People that are supposed to be great at communication just are bad at communication. Not saying that's him. But, yeah, I would like to learn that from you somewhere outside you, of Instagram. Outside of reading the, uh, yeah, that's true. From the person directly, I agree. Yeah, oh, if, we, my we, man, we, if my man, if my man, because you could have told me I'm like, yo, I didn't, never knew I you never felt knew. like that. Let me shit, I can get you some shit right now. I can take care of it. Mm-hmm. We don't. That feeling can lead. True. But yeah, but I it also know. could have been spurred by a conversation. Yo, I just heard you did X, Y, and Z, and he said, ah, oh, fuck you. And then he said, all right, we'll bet. Oh no, nah. no, this yo, sound he, like he just heard through the grapevine oh, he about from some the shit. producer. Got that, it confirmed. Yo, yeah, yeah. And, and it's the producers that you paying is the niggas that's coming to me for advice. Like that's, that's what, what he said. said. The niggas you paying twenty X is coming to me see now, to, for the help. See now that's where I feel him because it'd be a lot of little uh, young aspiring people that come to you for advice, but they doing great. So end them coming to you for advice. Like, it happens to me all the time. Uh-huh. Fucking Justin LeBoy. Let me pick your brain. Ju- Ju- Justin LeBoy. Yo, I got this new revolt show. I did it paid X. Yo, I'm arguing for this. Yo, tell me what you think I should do. It's like, wait, huh? <laughs> wait. <laughs> like, if you're not in a good spot, you'll get to comparing. Now, that show was a hit. And he's got an audience. 
They calling you for five. Yo, these niggas offered me five mil, man. I don't even know. I, I think I'm a chill. He's <laughs> like, oh, oh wait, what? wait, man, wait, wait, wait. What are you saying, nigga? Because I'll call, I'll call, I get to call somebody. <laughs> you got to fight that feeling as a man. One day when men get honest, potting will really get to the next level. It's full of just lying niggas. We can talk about men hate for the next 10 years, yo. Now, but there's a couple things that happen in music a lot. One is the pick your brain for free guy. And that the other just, one... That ain't just music, Well, bro. that's true. That's true. That's You're life. Right. You're right. If somebody think you the got some information... And I didn't say that it wasn't in regular life. I'm just saying it happens a lot in the music business. But should it not? So we'll pick... Huh? It happens a lot. It we got we got argue this, bro. It happens a lot in corporate America too. Yeah, yeah. yo, it happens yeah. a lot. But anywhere. somebody that might but look people at, don't know that there is a value or a budget to picking somebody. It brother. is, but if you're looking at somebody like a big bruh or a quote unquote, like people always talk about how, especially in the black culture, we need to help everybody. We need to pull them up. We need to help them when we see that they need help. Uh-huh. Then you can't charge for the help after, after you're championing. Um, us helping the people that are less fortunate. You can't say, yo, it's a value with that help. But what if then... If I know you, if I don't know you, then that's one thing. But you get what I'm saying? But what if you... What if I help you and then you get... You go crazy. You're up, 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 up and just completely ignore me for... You just, as, as you would do. You added a variable that we did not start with. I'm that's talking what sounds about... sounds like what's happening. I'm, we talking about... He's talking about something different. I'm talking about when somebody's down and they need help, it's a value in that help. That's true. But if we are also saying, yo, we need to help our own and we need to help us, our own people rise to greatness, how would you fucking rise to greatness if you're not asking the people that came before you and got the lessons before you? You won't and know. Other, and and you might not have money to pay you got, for it. You got certain people that feel like, because I ain't had no help and yeah. I made it here, Yeah, I'm not helping nobody. That's true. Figure it out. A lot you of know, yo, and There's a lot of people that get into that position true. like, yo, ain't nobody helped me get up. Figure it out. It's a tough thing to balance, though. So, yeah. It's a very tough thing to balance. Figuring it out builds character. Actually, that's what I meant to start this podcast with. I got to get back to when I get in my clip bag of just starting with shit. I think y'all might appreciate this one, too. Here we go. Persistence. My rich dad started teaching me about money on one condition. And that condition was he would never pay me. He says, the moment I pay you, you think like an employee. He says, that's the trap. Entrepreneurs work for free. He says, you never want a paycheck. You understand that, kid? I said, okay, I got it. And he says, well, how do I make money? He says, that's what entrepreneurs figure out. So I would work for free. I'd pick up cigarette butts and get hotels and restaurants and I would clean and do menial tasks. And he would teach me about money. But the way he taught me about money was playing Monopoly. Finally, one day I got upset. I said, well, when are you gonna teach me about money? He says, what do you think we're doing? We're playing Monopoly. He goes, no, 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 no. What do you think we're doing? So I don't know. I'm teaching you about money. He says, one of the greatest ways to acquire great wealth is playing Monopoly in real life. Four greenhouses, one red hotel. Is that all there is? He goes, that's it. Pretty much. But that's a nice clip, right? Got a lot of that, Robert. That's the part that you can't explain to somebody. Like, the real niggas, you you gotta go do it for free. Yeah. And once you do that, great. Now you have to figure out how to fucking make it profitable for you. Versus the guy who everything he just said, I just totally agree with it. I totally agree with it. I thought that fell into the conversation. So anybody that asks me, look, where do I start? Like mad people be asking me, my family, my friends, people be in my DMs. That's the first book I tell them go read because it gives you the philosophy from somebody that had money Uh and it gives you philosophy from school. School is teaching all of us to be workers. And yeah. get a check. Yeah. And it's hard to tell somebody not to get a check, though, because they got bills and shit to pay. Mm-hmm. So a, a lot of exactly. entrepreneurial ships starts at a teenage age when you don't really have as many um, responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it's hard for a nigga to turn down a check when you got kids or when you got a mortgage or when you got car notes. It's hard for somebody to turn down the guaranteed check, even though it's a part, it's a... A fake sense of security Because you can get dumped On your head tomorrow With all your expenses And these jobs Don't give a fuck about you You could get dumped On your head But I think the entrepreneurial thing Needs to be instilled In our kids I see it now At a young age I see it now I totally agree with that You are Um, It's part of my beef With the modern Structure of school But they have to though They have to what? Structure school that way That's our fight We don't have to I mean No What was I about to say? I was about to uh, 
Oh, I see it now in podcasting more than ever, right? Uh, in podcasting, so many people now are rushing to take deals. I mean, and this is after all we've seen from the music business. In podcasting, before you even start the podcast, you're looking for a deal because you're conditioned to believe you need that money. I need money. I need to check. Where's it coming from? Why am I doing this for free? How long do you expect me to do this for free? Wait, I got to dig in my pocket and now pay for this and still not get a deal. And it's like, dog, I can't, con I can't, I can't instill faith in your own product and you like, if you don't believe in it enough to do it for free, Right. Then what task are you putting on me to train you into that? Like, and I fell into that trap before. We're like, we're like, you just are giving, 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 hoping that somebody could hold off enough from the powers that be. Like, hoping that this is all right enough for you to not take a deal. But that never happens. It never happens you, that way. You well, saying you giving information, or you just no? Were you uh, uh money? Oh, you're giving. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I've done that. Were you were you believe in the talent? And like you said, niggas need money. Niggas got bills. Right. So you try to hold them off for a minute so they could get in a creative so bag, fire. but they can never get there because they only focused about the money that they don't have and where it's not mm -hmm. coming from. Mm -hmm. Now, you're putting a task on somebody to come and try to change that your whole mental, way of thinking. Yo. Mm -hmm. So sure. I get some of the people now, of course I do now, that say, no, go learn it yourself. I can tell you, but you, you not, have to go. And, until you unlearn what you know. And it, you, and it, you're not going to be able to apply it right. Yeah. And, there's, and, and to your podcasting point, a lot of people aren't in it on the entrepreneurial side. They're hearing numbers being tossed around in the podcasting world, and it's just same like, music, yo. Same music, by the way. Yeah, Back same, to same thing. It, it, exactly. Yeah. They're just hearing them numbers tossed around, and it's like, oh, I need to go get some of that. It's sure. like the, it's like the OnlyFans shit. When they started to hear what these girls was making on OnlyFans, everybody ran over there. They wasn't really... You, you could see the difference in the girls that really take pride in their OnlyFans who put a lot of stock into their product and then somebody that's just going over here to a cash grab real quick. And I'll offer some resistance to that Park's point. I, where I think it's different in music is in podcasting, you hear all of these numbers fly for everything in every category. In music, they mask that. So what fees really get tossed around in music outside of the label budgets, the advances, your show fees, like... All those other nooks and crannies where they don't want you to know money is being made because you might come ask for it. The fucking licensing things that right, became right. a new one. All right. of this is just so many different buckets, right? And in music, it's not well explained. True. Even if it's explained, it's not well explained. Mm -hmm. In podcasting, it's 500,000 people every day trying to explain all of things. <laughs> True. True. There's a lot of people in music that are in the creation, content creation game too, though, that are trying to break down what's going on. On top of just the visual... I see X, Y, Z with all this ice and the nice car. Like, true. What, they might not know the specific numbers, but I can see that he's true. up. Yeah, true, true, true. So I'm trying to figure, I know how to play a little keyboard now. <laughs> like, let me figure out how to do this. I can figure, yeah, <laughs> you know, you do like, I want to get like that. Yeah. You think people are explaining outside of yourself the how to properly navigate the podcast space? I think people are trying their best, yeah. A lot of them. Because people are still figuring it out, too. Like, it's still... It's still new. Even where it is, everybody, relatively new. Yeah, everybody's explaining to their understanding, like to the best they can. Not everybody, but the people that are trying to. In music, you kind of are not the only people incentivized that know are to explain it. Like there was years where execs wouldn't even get in front of a camera because it's like, hey, y'all not supposed to know what I know. Shit, they still don't really. <laughs> they trying that. They trying to pop out now because bit, fans but... have. We have the leverage and the power and. And only but so much exec and you gonna do from behind the scenes. And, and Leo are popping up, doing interviews, Kev doing interviews, Steve doing interviews, Puff pop up, like it's a few niggas. And the difference between the two is music is such an archaic system. Like podcasting being new, with a lot of people seeing the mistakes that were made in the music industry, they trying to prevent it at the ground level. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. the, the the other side is people trying to do the exact same game. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Just bring it over here and bring Especially it over here in the urban space a lot of the popular podcasters have ties to the music business in the urban space at least yeah, yeah I'm so not gonna say seen. a lot <laughs> I mean the popular a lot of the popular more popular ones they got ties even if they weren't necessarily in mm -hmm. the music business they got ties mm -hmm. and so you hear how music was fucking everybody over you kind of want to protect yourself a little bit more from that yeah it's like I got fucked here I'm not gonna get yeah, fucked yeah, over yeah, here yeah. right and I'm explaining. So, like, the next group coming up don't get fucked over here. Mm -hmm. 
Because music, that system is in place so deeply rooted, it would take a complete overhaul to change that. But podcasting is brand new. We can we fix this from the ground up. Shout out to Bob Minery. I like Bob's podcast. Who's I like the white. You know Bob Minery, the, the guy that the dude, the, does the uh, he does the the bullshit sports commentating. He'll play the clip. And, oh, this guy! Look at this fucking asshole! <laughs> Cuts Brown and th- no, oh, get him it. the fuck out of the game. He does it. that, but he has I a podcast. That. Well, that's his name on uh, Instagram, Bob Minery. Uh, really it. popular. Yeah. Actually, when we were on tour one time, we stopped at a, a gas station, and there was this like. Um, guy right next to us a white guy with a beard looked like he would never know nothing about anything and then on smoke break I'm just talking to him and he I think worked with Bob Minery somehow oh uh, okay like, he was like yo I'm a huge fan of y'all podcast Bob says what up I'm like oh shit <laughs> who knew but yeah that's Bob I loved his Dave Portnoy interview Bob is getting great fucking po- podcast interviews like he's killing I don't know I don't know what's going on but he's killing okay shout out to Bob shout out to JJ Reddick I got some white boy podcasts I love anyway moving on Pat McAfee Pat McAfee. White boy's going crazy, man. It gets me mad. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. that's bad to say. <laughs> you can't say that. Man. Gary V, my guy. I like Gary V. Oh. Yeah, no, I love Gary V. ASAP Rocky released on how a $550,000 bail following arrest on shooting allegations. All right, I'm not reading this shit. Reportedly shot at his man. Uh, and then some shit happened five years later where his man fell. You know what, nigga? <laughs> Check this out. Oh, wait, this was five years ago? Nah, nah, this was uh, November. Oh. Uh, this was November they did that? Yeah. It's five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> if you my man, that's five years Yeah, ago. I popped you last year, nigga. <laughs> that was a mad year. That I thought we cool now. Yeah. You held up in anything. Fuck you. Niggas get shot every day, BBI. B- I mean, I was cool <laughs> with you shooting me before you got with Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah. nah. oh no, buddy. So, mm-hmm. You got to pay. Before you got pregnant, yeah. He was with her. But yeah, before you had that baby come, you got to pay now. You can't shoot me. And see, that's why I need a clear understanding of street rules, yo. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> why, you don't live by him? Nope. Keep them over there. I don't want I, keep y'all street rules way over there. I don't want to know them. Stay mm-hmm. over there. Yeah, I expound. So, ain't nothing <laughs> expound. So, so Joe can't shoot you. What you saying? He can shoot me. <laughs> Guess who's going to jail tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm clear where I stand. I am You're not telling. a street nigga. Yeah. Oh yes. And I'm suing. Who are? Who you gonna tell? Arsenal? Or no, the cops? no. 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 You going to you jail? You shoot me. You gonna tell 12? <laughs> 12. All 12. 12. <laughs> I hated that. 911 plus one. <laughs> oh, man. This nigga. I hated when Future was like, yo, I hated being 11 because I knew I was about to turn 12. <laughs> yeah, why do y'all let him do that? <laughs> Nobody chimes in the same. You know what the fuck he said. Shut up. <laughs> when I, when I, my mom told me I was about to be 12, I was mad. <laughs> like, oh, no, you don't have to find it. Please, no. No, yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> no find please, that, don't find that. That's, go, that's the same as Fabio now is teaching at colleges. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> What's he teaching? What's he, yeah teaching what? Quantum physics. <laughs> Five. What? Hello. I really would like to know what what is he teaching? He's teaching. Teaching what? Something. <laughs> they had a gun right, range man. somewhere there. I'm sure. <laughs> oh man, that's not right. Though. Where is he teaching at? FIT. Oh, FIT. Oh, that's, that's was fashion, he speaking right? or was he teaching? Nah, he just te- he oh, just nah, speaking he just, there, man. Oh, look, he plugging something down. <laughs> nah, <laughs> they gave him a. Oh, no, okay. he's in a relationship, so of course he's not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you just this told him the, about yeah. the drip, man. I get it? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a fashion school. He up there like, yo, nah. When, oh. I, when I spin the block, what I mean by spin the block <laughs> is <laughs> if the opposite is outside. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Yeah, that's dope. It's fashion. Yeah. It's fine. It's Shout out to Fabio. Uh, back to ASAP Rocky. Ice is telling. Yep. ASAP's man is telling. ASAP's out of jail. Podcast man, what do y'all want from me on this? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> this was just what, nuts, what, what do y'all like, want from me? The way this whole shit happened, though, like as soon as they plane landed at the airport, like him and Rihanna was coming back from uh, Barbados, and they just snatched them up on the private jet, on the PJ, snatched them up. Took the battering ram. Y'all rappers swear y'all safe on a private jet, yo. <laughs> yeah. That's still fucking government. Right. Fuck. Mad niggas. What's wrong with them? Mad niggas got caught on them jets. <laughs> I just rap. That is true. Yeah, Mad niggas. But 
I think that's I didn't know it happened in November. I thought it just happened. That's terrible. <laughs> How deep y'all think they got El Chapo under the ground? Man, El Chapo is somewhere in Barbados. He ain't really he gone? That's what you I'm asking for real. You really no, believe that? Because you don't be fucking with me and Ice on our conspiracy theories. Come on, throw one out there. I don't think he locked up. So where he at? Cuba? <laughs> I don't, wherever he in is. Exchange for what? He got too much money, though. But we had him. We got him. I know. And we mad because you got away. Yeah, twice. Twice. And so now we working out a deal with you again? Yeah, because I got enough money and enough names and enough information that... Um. I'm about. You don't well, get why that. would they just you kill you? You don't think they just take your money? Yeah, you know, we always just take your life. Like they did, like they did Franklin? F- Franklin has 73 million. They said this nigga got more money than Bill Gates. You talk about a fucking <laughs> Franklin and El Chapo. <laughs> 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 nigga, what? But nah, if you that, if you that much of a threat, mm-hmm. wait, wait, why don't they just kill you? I mean, they got a, you already. That's a possibility. Or I could just work out something with my peoples and I'm going to go stay over here, mind my business, and y'all are not going to see me no more. I don't think he's gonna go mind his business. No, you yeah, my, you heard what the nigga you told Tony. Going, man. You, you heard what the nigga told Tony. He's got my brain going, man. All right. El Chapo might be over there with Tupac. Chapo. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, we fell for anything. Man. Tupac's in Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why, why? Honduras. It's one of them. Yeah. It sounded so far when I was young. <laughs> Just right there. <laughs> right there. Right by Miami. <laughs> Oh man! All right, where we at? Yeah, where this, we this at? was terrible, though. Man. Where we at? What's terrible? Nah, family getting little... shot. Oh, <laughs> if you shoot at me, you tell him. Depend on who shot me. <laughs> who can shoot you? <laughs> Shook shot me. <sighs> let me let me find a way on where how to answer this. Yeah, <laughs> you want to give anybody a pass? I just want y'all to know <laughs> this is the. Segue to Meg You can't run from it <laughs> I'm just telling y'all In advance We've run long enough We're gonna take us To a little break Ah okay We'll, we'll take a break Gather our thoughts a little bit uh, we'll me Yeah that's what I'm saying If it's a close friend Or Someone that I know I could easily terminate <laughs> Then no I'm not telling <laughs> I'm calling someone To kill you But I'm not doing it I'm with him You with him? Absolutely I, you, you, now, I if you are the biggest boss that we've seen thus far, and I don't have anyone that could terminate you, you definitely not tell. That makes you shut the you shut the fuck up even more now. I'm listening though. Think. No, nah, yeah, I might tell. No, you don't. Ghost did that to a few of them niggas. <laughs> it's TV. So if it's a big big boss type nigga that shoots you, you not telling? Fuck no. So you never tell him. You just you take never it? gonna tell. Yeah, I'm gonna just eat it. I'm gonna shoot oh. you. He been shot. <laughs> what you gonna do if somebody shoots you? Man? He been shot. You gonna handle it oh. one way or another? But if the the man, you really want to have this So if the biggest boss like you just said, El Chapo shoots you, what you gonna tell him? No, I'm tell you're not. No, you're not. Tell my mom. <laughs> you gonna go cry and tell your girl? I ain't gonna tell, <laughs> tell, tell my mom. Wait, wait, think about that. Somebody, El somebody getting told. Somebody in that, in that caliber shoots you, and you tell. Yeah, nah, Then I'm you telling. expose your family, your friends, and other people to potential. Yeah, nigga, niggas make an example in your whole. Yeah. Life. I don't. Blood bitch, I live my life in a way where I don't have to think about this stuff. And we the having Lord. a conversation Same. about the topic. That's why I'm saying, don't shoot me. I don't think he should have shot him. I'm not, I don't know what that nigga did. I don't know what that nigga did. He might have warned him. He ain't do nothing, nothing too bad. He ain't do nothing but graze him. Nigga was standing right there. You ain't running after him. Standing over the body. Ah, ah, ah. Like, well, little warning shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah get up off. No, no, he ain't, nigga ain't no. do nothing, man. Knock it off. I agree. Pow, pow. It's your <laughs> TSK. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Probably, probably was. <laughs> yeah, I love clowning niggas I don't fuck with. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I love it, yo. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing that God can do to change my mind. <laughs> I forgot. It's I forgot. hilarious. So you good on this. Love it, yo. And I'm joking, because I don't ever want a nigga to be in jail. Um, Well, he's not in jail. He's out. Yeah, but it's a bail... This is stressful. That like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, he's got. Let gotta, me get. Let me get grown up. Yeah, 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 I was reading shit saying that she she supposed to have been having a baby shower this yeah, week. Yeah, I had to cancel it because the baby. She's stressed yeah. out. Yeah, come and on. And she don't need to be stressed right now. This is yeah, it's not like. My thing is with him. Seriously, now adult time. Okay, you you were able to be low 
for mad years. Why not do that right now? Like, you are capable of doing it. You could be low while your fiancé is going through her fucking pregnancy. He is low. He was low. He's not low. Why? Nigga has been outside and in the news every month of this pregnancy and the 19 months before that. Sit your fucking ass down somewhere. Well, you lost me now. Yeah, I'm lost too. He's been outside and in the news? I've only seen, yeah, I've only seen the shit that happened over in, in was it Sweden or something? That was years ago. Yeah. That's it. Every time I what see else, him in the public, he he's with his girl. Yeah. No, you, all right, y'all don't follow him the way I follow him. He's been outside. He's been outside. And my thing is, if you can't be outside without getting in the news or bringing attention to yourself or becoming a target because now you're dating a billionaire, then you should sit down. I mean, she's outside. But and he, everything, and, he, and, and he, they're outside. Uh, everything they do is And he be allegedly news. shot the dude in November. How many months pregnant is Shorty? Maybe like five or six? I'm not sure. Well, you the math nigga. Oh. I don't yeah. know how pregnant you, she you is. You know you the mathematician of the pod. Don't I, ask us. I'm supposed to know when he popped? I don't know yeah. how, how, how you, you ask niggas that. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of your favorite questions. Yo, yo, yo. You That's know, the question yo, you right pop, after pop you say, yo, did you pop that? When? No, how was it? No. Oh, yeah, that's the third one. How was it? Yo, you were so such an archaic animal, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, you pop me like the first question sometimes. Yo, yo. That's that did one. you pop? When you pop? How was it? I want to pop. <laughs> Can I? It's only two questions. See? It's not five. They exaggerating, but okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. We are podcasters. We have a job. We, we do have a job. We, we are humble servants of the people. We have a job to do, which is to discuss things sometimes that we don't want to discuss. And this would be one of those instances. Yeah. Meg the Stallion goes on Gail, Gail King to do an interview and tell her side of the story. That's the, the news. That is the mm-hmm. news. That's my reporting of the news. That's my being a responsible journalist. I and guess. there was also the text uh, text leak. That was in the interview. Oh, okay. CBS authenticated. They reported. They uncovered uh, texts from Kelsey. We haven't heard from Kelsey in all this time. And the text said, help, Tory shot Meg. Do y'all want me to lead on this? Yep. Anytime you're playing with your beard, you <laughs> yeah. want me to lead. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm yeah. Telling, no, no, that, no, no, no. I want you to lead on this. Ice has been telling me for five days he wants me to lead on this. <laughs> Ish, I'm just going to assume you want me to lead on this. <laughs> Look at his face. But Ish might not want me to Alex, lead on this. Alex, you can lead it, actually. But wait, Ish might not. Oh, let me not throw Ish. You got it. Oh. You him. <laughs> you the you man. him. You the man. I can only be him when you don't want to be him. I hate that. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I take it. Yeah. All right, what can I say here that I haven't already said? I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, and I don't want to always have to be responsible for giving a take anytime the powers that be feel like they need to make a move to sway public opinion. This is all uh, court of public opinion, media games. All of this is court, yes, Parks is correct. Mm-hmm. Public opinion, media games, and me as someone that's gone through the legal system a few times, for horrible, horrible things that I shouldn't have been accused of in the first place. I I personally am triggered when people play public jury games, public court uh-huh. games. Because the facts of this are, this is in court. Right. True. And whatever facts will be accepted in the court are accepted in the court. And I know that all facts are not accepted in the court. Right. Like with court... They got to go through shit. There's all types of legal terms. I don't know. But when I went through it, there was a predisposition. Predisposition. There was another thing you could do way before predisposition where they get to ask you any question they want in an office, in their office. And anything you say is used in there, but the judge will consider it differently. They got all types of tricks. I'm not well versed enough to tell you what the legal terms are for those tricks, right? But when some shit is not admissible in court, and maybe you think it should be, then maybe you leak it. Mm-hmm. Right. You put it out. Okay. So I don't have an opinion on the things that Meg put out in pub for public fodder because I don't know that those things were vetted correctly. Uh, the public will see there's a text from Kelsey. In court, I don't know that that's Kelsey operating the phone. We just saw that with Kanye 
when they tried to say, hey, you're causing harm by your social media presence. And he's saying, that's not even me. Right. Like, we saw that. This does not prove that this text comes from Kelsey. This just proves that a text was you sent. have a text that was sent from one device to another device. Yep. Uh, anybody has been caught cheating before. Listen, anytime I was caught cheating, I had to figure some shit out. I thought about changing a name in the phone and sending a text to myself from somebody's phone. And I'm not saying that's what happened here, but when your liar brain gets to going, right? Meg is already on record saying that her phone was dead this night. Her phone died. That's two. And three, this text that was sent that was authenticated, air quotes, by CBS. CBS, mind y'all fucking business. I guess it is y'all business. But mind y'all business. Y'all can't authenticate shit. Kelsey is not speaking to this young lady. This text don't tell me that they're speaking. And even if this was true, what it says to me is, oh, Kelsey might have been Team Meg at that time. So anything that we come up with at this time, that's what it is. But she shortly after stopped being Team Meg. So this tells me nothing also in this text. 7.27 a.m. Sunday, July 12th. 7.27 a.m. Well, that's odd. So that's several hours after. It's mad hours event, after. Right? It's way, way hours. It's mad way hours after this event occurred. Are you texting security? This wouldn't be the that, text that a million be. hours after, I would assume. True. I don't know that. You're asking your security for help, though. That makes sense, my nigga. But I mean, the time doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. In the time, yeah, the, the, the time. time doesn't make sense. Again, with time, like I keep saying, personally, this is this is not a believe this. Don't believe any of that. I'm just when shit like this happen, I always got a question: Why are we being privy of this right now? Right. And that question is especially important because it would seem to most like this trial is close to an end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's dragged out. People are not going to, they ain't going to keep wasting the court's time and the people's money on this. This has been a few years now. So are you showing us this now because you think it would be important in the case and they wouldn't allow it? Exactly. I don't know. I'm not, I'm That's not for saying, each of you guys to decide yeah. on Certainly your own. Certainly a possibility. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. But it's, I, this is just a question that comes to mind. Like if y'all had this, this happened in 2020. I put it like this. Damn, I'm not listening later. to either of them talk. Until something comes out. Well, and that's the other thing. Tory cannot talk. Mm -hmm. And that's the unfair part. They went there and they went to court and learned his ass for all of them tweets. He mm -hmm. cannot speak again. So you going to sit down with Gail King. And getting all of the, the, the wow, footage and all that other shit on CBS, my nigga. That is crazy that this boy can't defend himself. I don't necessarily love it. No, nah, you'll lock him up if he says you. But she can be on a public television station with millions and millions and millions of potential uh, viewers uh -huh. to, to express her sentiment. That's not fair. Well, that's that far advocate. from fair. That was advocate. They're going to say she's the victim. She has that right. I know. Yeah, but there but is you are But you are in a potential po po position to sway the jurors. I agree. You get what I I'm saying? You're in a position... I, I, they tell the jurors don't watch TV, go right. home. Motherfucker, we've been on jury for two years. Right. I mean, and you could not watch TV and still and still see this. Know everything that happened in this interview. That is certainly. I'm true. in the minority here, but there is a such thing as victim bullying. Yeah, there is a such thing as victim bullying. What you mean, victim well, bullying? The victim is, is victim bully? bullying. Yes, I believe that to be a thing when it happens. Oh yeah, yeah that could happen. Uh, example could of what happen. I'm saying. Uh, Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco's ex-wife. Mm -hmm. He's in a whole new relationship. He's married. Mm -hmm. He's he's whatever he is, he's happy. Mm -hmm. They happy, she's happy. Um for years, any chance anytime his name came up, she popped up. It had nothing to do with her, but she popped up and said, Hey, he did this. It didn't matter the uh rehabilitation he'd done. Uh -huh. It didn't matter the, mm -hmm. the changes that he's made, the apologies, both public and private. Yo, dog, for the next seven, eight, nine, ten years, every time I do something positive, you're going to pop up with this victim story. And you are the victim. So I don't take that away. But that's bullying. <laughs> that happens. That's bullying. Unfortunately. I know. I'm like, just, there's I'm people just, that, if you, do, you make a mistake 
10, 15 years ago in your past and you could have been wherever you were in life then, completely grown, apologized, corrected behavior. They ain't letting it go. But any chance they get, they're going to remind you that you did this. Look at Chris Brown. I think this worked and I, I don't think this worked in her favor. I don't think so either. I haven't seen the most. Uh, I, th- I think the parts that I, I didn't see the whole thing, but I saw bits and pieces. When she asked her directly if you had sex with homeboy, and she sat there, she ain't answer for a good fifteen seconds. Hmm. Then she looked down and hit you with the. No, um, she didn't know what the. No, she didn't know what the. Let's. Uh, I, I love. No, wait, wait, wait. She first she said intimacy, and she I, didn't know I, what intimate me- meant. She's a college grad. <laughs> I'm not rocking with that, but she knew what it meant. You mean sexually? <laughs> Yo, fam, you're dealing with one of the best liars that ever lived back in my heyday until my memory went away. I might have been. <laughs> yeah, like, niggas li- had to think of lies. Like, before y'all had all these investigative tools like Instagram and Google, niggas had to, like, really lie, yo. That's buying time for the lie. Yeah. I well, think no, she knows what, what intimate is, relationship meant. Fam, anytime somebody hits you with a question, once you repeat that question, motherfucker, you lying. Yeah, come I on. don't want to hear that. You like you, you repeat. Yo, was you at the club last night? But, but sometimes the club? was I at the club oh. last night? <laughs> in that instant, I got a lie in my brain. But sometimes when you young, like think about the lies you told when you were really young. Some of them so foolish, but you tried to get them off. Uh-huh. Sometimes when you lied, you made the story worse, yeah. and you had to get better with your lie. I feel like that's what she did by saying I never fucked him. Yeah. And you lost the credibility. A bunch of women even was like, eh, now you fuck Wait me Wait a up. second. Because if you'll lie about that, you'll lie about... Because that's the smallest thing. Mm-hmm. But if you never fucked him, Meg... I mean, I understand why you would say it. Because then I the don't. naysayers... Well, then how could you ever view Tory Lane's story as true and accurate? Because his story, niggas lean into it. No, this is the thing, though. From, Yo, I was from, fucking two women. I was kind of nice one at was the your be- One was your best friend. And if she comes out and negates all of that, then all right. So this is what happens. I was all right in the lie game. You give a little bit of truth, you give a little bit of lie. Makes your lie sound better. You gonna throw a little truth in there. No, come stop. Don't wink at me. No, 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 Sprinkle a little, just a little nah, bit. You gotta give you <laughs> gotta get the truth. No, nah, give me And exonerate sauce. yourself with the lie. It's true. Yeah, I was there. What? Yeah, I don't gray. Was mad niggas in there with gray though. It was, yeah, yeah, she was supposed you to say get, I fucked him. She was supposed to I say fucked she fucked that boy. She was definitely supposed to say she fucked that boy. And if it comes out in public, any if they got a text message with her asking for dick, if anything is in his phone, or if he can prove without a reasonable doubt that she fucked him, oh, it's going to yeah. kill her credibility anywhere in the courtroom. It is going to kill her credibility. That one lie and is going to kill her credibility. And that's about, the easiest thing she could have said. Yeah, we were intimate. That's the great part about silence. Like when you succumb to it, sometimes the, the uh, opposition just we'll kill stick themselves. stick their foot right. in their mouth. They'll no just kill themselves yeah. talking if you just shut up for a minute. Because then she went on to say, this is where the lies just get absurd. All right. You mean sexual? No. I never had that relationship. After the long um. Okay, well, yeah, long um. Okay, well then, what happened that night? And this is where my brain, I'm only speaking for me. Yo, I wanted to leave and nobody else did. That's what happened. I ain't raise my voice. I ain't do this. I ain't do that. Yo, everybody in the scene, in the mix, has been in that situation. It's a very common, we can all put ourselves there and know how we felt. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that story gets to, I'm standing over the car shooting at you. When the person that don't want to be there don't want to be there and everybody else want to be there, either that person is outvoted or we just going to rag you the whole car ride on. Like, damn, yo, really, really look at what you made us leave, yo. Like, honestly, wh- how is that? How does that go from zero to 100? I know that's a cool little no, song. But nah, but. In real life. Not just that. The testimony. It from, doesn't happen that way. The testimony from other people says she was mad irate. Mm. Like she was drunk yeah, she allegedly was. And she was irate at the party She's saying I never raised my voice at him I never did none of that You have people that are gonna say Yes she did Right From what I've read And from what I've heard Yeah I remember that being The, yeah, the, like the, that the was rumor it. that was going around The person that, that she has paperwork work with Carl Crawford Is on record saying that There may be alcoholism problem 
And I'm never going to use that to bash somebody or speak negatively to somebody, especially with all that Meg's gone through with death and loss and mm -hmm. right. pain. So I understand that. That's a natural human thing to turn to that in times of grief, uh -huh. right? But you know some of that is in play. We're leaving the kickback at the Jenners or the, wherever we were. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's over a Saturday, some jealous, it's a sad some jealous Friday argument. Night. I, heard, I heard it was like an alleged jealous argument. Yeah, that's what the that's Tori what... was out here being one of them yawn means. She also yeah, said she also said that they offered her a million dollars to keep quiet. I hate the leaking of that. I hate the leaking of that. I hate it. I hate it. If I'm or if that's true, I don't know. I don't. I haven't spoke to nobody. Don't try to bring my name up in court. But if that's true. Not purge myself here, but yeah, bitch, <laughs> it's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt you. It's a long process. It's three years. It's this. Can you shut up about anything that happened that night? The whole night in general. Can you sign an NDA to not talk about that? Because I'm gonna get hurt in that. Sue me if you want. I have a functioning brain. I understand that thought. Yo, it would be cheaper to pay you to sign an NDA than for me to play this out with the Lawyers biggest, the biggest, one of the biggest female rappers that we have coming out and saying anything damaging to my likeness. See, that didn't prove nothing either. And I could see how court, court don't care about that. I could see court not allowing that. No, but yeah. So now you, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't have nothing to do with the facts of the case. Dismiss. Yeah, that's gone. Exactly. That's gone. So now get it out all the anyway. shit that like... All right, so in the game of law, some of the best lawyers are the people that we never hear speak. Some of the best lawyers are the motherfuckers that are the, the niggas that read case law and determine what is admissible and what is not. So they'll be like, oh, no, strike that, strike that. We're trying to get this, 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 and this dismissed because it might have been gathered through it. You could have literally, dog, a, a gun with a nigga fingerprints on it. And if that gun got found through illegal means, mm -hmm. they can't... Yeah, that's admissible. I mean, inadmissible. Search, inadmissible. inadmissible. Yeah, yeah, Pardon me. So you, you got the real lawyers that be sitting behind the scenes. Nope, nope. Strike that. Strike that. Strike that. So it's kind of ugly that they would get on public television and potentially, like you said, with some information that might not have been admissible in court uh -huh. and leak it to the public because, because this the game is the, is the game. Yeah, yeah, that is this crazy. Is, this is the tactic. But the fucked up part is that's why she up there trying it's to. It's illegal <laughs> when this boy can't even say a fucking word. When it's not illegal, I mean, it's illegal for him to say a word. Yes, like that's crazy to me. And yeah, yeah you that's up there why she. To up, cry. That's why she up there. Well, let, let's no address that. Up. Let's address that for a minute. I mean, no tears come up. I can't be the yeah, only guy that noticed it. Is she was trying her best to get a "This Is Us" moment. Ain't a tear coming out of there, yo. Stop this. I don't care what y'all say about me. I know a damn cry when I see one. This is not a cry. This is let me try to cry. One day I'm going to come in and say the girl name that I think came up with this whole plan. It ain't Meg. It ain't Meg. But there's a plan and they run, they, run, they are running this shit to it. They running this shit like a fucking Mike D'Antoni offense. <laughs> They you think they, it's working to, their, to, to what their plan is? You know, no, no. You know, you know what the knock on that D'Antoni offense is? Just lacking on one side. Them niggas don't play no D. Yeah, just lacking on one side. <laughs> Them niggas don't play no D. I don't. I, yeah, I don't. I don't like how this is going. I don't think it's going the way that they would like it to go. And I'm of the belief that this public opinion bullshit is only coming out because it's not going the way they would like to. I would record. agree. I could definitely see I would that. Agree. Be That's kind of what I've been thinking for a minute. It ain't just to this. ice's point. The timing. Yeah. The timing. The timing. Of yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Like when I say, because I think they're going to court next month. Anytime I say that, you they know, keep pushing over. it. They keep pushing it. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think it's the people that feel good about the case that continue to push it. I've been saying this for a while now. Right. Like it's only but so long fake thugs can pretend. You can't push this. We're gonna get some resolve, and you'll have to answer for some of this. You will. Mm. And I think. And my other beef with Meg, fuck this Gail King shit, yo. Stop, stop it, yo. It's a joke. I thought I was alone in that, but I'm at the Don Pooh party, and a lot of other fucking important media people had that same opinion before I said a word. Mm. Her going to Gail King is disgusting. It also plays into the public opinion. Get my shit out there. Make this broad, big as possible. Oh, and for the record, just so just so y'all are clear, everybody can't sit with Gail King. That's true. Not at all. That is true. See, the public don't know when certain relationships be at work to even get certain sit downs to happen. Everybody's not privy to Gail King, yo. 
Mm-hmm. I could try for the next six months to sit down with Gail King. I think it'll be a tough. I think it'll be a tough shot. She said, that, "Oh my god." Not just that she's been on the Grammy. She's been on every, every single thing. possible. Um, Go to hip hop. There are too many hip hop fucking uh, outlets. Go to somebody that understands all of this shit, is keeping up with all this shit, and can provide some type of pushback if you're trying to come off as organic. If you're trying to come off as this with all of the fake tears and this is what ha- believable at all, then go to somebody where it might look believable. Yeah, I'm she, not trying to she look... She can only go to one person. She could go to... Any, pardon me. She can go to anybody. She can go Bam. to Angie. She can go to anybody she wants. It's her pick I'm up I'm trying to reach outside of hip-hop. That is what I'm thinking. That is I true. don't give a fuck about this. Ice ain't nobody right. nothing to do with hip hop. Right. Fuck hip hop. Yeah, that is true. Then don't use hip hop. I'm going to Good Morning America. I love that, but I, I love that. But I want to paint. Then I want to paint. Draw the line in the sand for the people that when shit get thick, they abandon it, they neglect it, and that's been a real uh, issue amongst hip hop journalists even before this Meg shit. Some of y'all all year long want to tweet, tweet, tweet all the impactful people. And then when it's time for y'all to do y'all press run, run it's Saturday Night Live and Jimmy Fallon. Mm. That's not a Joe beef because I don't really want to speak to a lot of y'all in the first place. But a lot of my peers mm. have a very valid gripe about how y'all treat hip hop journalists and hip hop media. And this to me is a prime example of it. The fuck are we talking to Gail King about? In hip hop, we was just trying to stand Snoop down for saying fuck that bitch. Mm. Not because he thought she was a bitch, but because she had an opinion that was void of anything hip hop related. And I'm sorry, but when you're covering hip hop, you should kind of have a sense of the pulse of it. Not the pulse, you have to, but a sense of it. And that be the issue. This, this, this ain't covering hip hop, bro. No, nah, this is not covering hip hop. But this, this is not is, a hip hop thing. Yeah, that's you this, you this know what time this is. Nah, this is like a million point. games. Yeah, bro. but yeah. the niggas like me and the people like us, the writing is on the wall with this here. But in just reading the comments of, of just people, people that have never, that don't have a clue, just don't have a clue. They don't have a clue. That's, that, that's, that's who, who they're trying to And boy, if I was Tory Lanez, and I'm going to leave this because it might sound like I'm on the phone with him and I am not. But boy, if I was him, and I've been him before, I'd hate to be the guy where I have zero gun residue on me, uh, zero anything, of no prints, no nothing on a weapon, but this is still in question if I shot somebody. You can't do that in hip-hop. See, and that's my thing. There are certain bylaws in hip-hop. There are, there are niggas to, with brains to say, hey, wait a minute, I don't know. I don't think now, we're hip-hop. big. We're big. So you can always find an audience to cater to this. But in hip-hop, nah... Nah, it's bogus. It's bogus. It's a facade. I know a fucking facade when I see one. This is nasty, and that's all I have to say about it. I'm still waiting on a tear to fall out of one of them eyes. It ain't Joe saying that. I watched this shit a million times. I zoomed. I made the little thing big. I got got right. It wasn't nothing but a fucking eyelid on my screen. I was watching. No fucking tears here, man. Stop this. One day we'll hear from the bodyguard, like, for real, for real. One right. day we're, we'll hear from Kelsey, for real, for real. One day this court proceeding will get to going and we'll know what we need to know. You're not going to hear from Kelsey. And, until then, one day we will. Nah. And I didn't say one day soon. I didn't in, say as it pertains 20, to this. In 20. One day, she might put out a book in 10 years. Who knows? But we'll hear from her one day. Kelsey is going to be living in the Hollywood Hills with a mansion the size of Texas, and she's going to shut her damn mouth. Yeah, that's the other part of why culture is so important wherever you're from, right? Like, Jersey culture is different from Memphis culture, is different from Atlanta culture, which is different from this culture and that culture and this culture. And a lot of people now, you're not well-traveled, so we don't know the culture everywhere. But in Houston, bitches you bitches, yo. <laughs> Sorry. Ask them. It ain't me. <laughs> they shoot bitches. No, they get it. They get it. Bitches shoot bit. bitches in Houston. That's like eight dollars in a row. Ninety, like, <laughs> like ninety eight dollars in a row. Now. Dollars, I don't yeah. have no cash for me, and I have not been stripped. Five. There you go. Hey, solid donation. This guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tomahawk that five there. in there. Nah, you know they get busy in Houston. You remember what happened with uh? They tried to do love and hip hop out there. Every girl I know in Houston got a she gun. Got shut down quick. And for some reason, I'm leading the pack. No, you walk in front. <laughs> Why am I walking? <laughs> 
Why am I walking in front and you back there on the phone with your gun? <laughs> That's why you can't give girls the gun. <laughs> so girls is on the phone, sending subs. Oh, hold up a second. <laughs> your watch gone. Your yeah. chain gone. Yo, 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 I'm getting robbed up here. <laughs> Can you shoot somebody, bitch? <laughs> no, that is hilarious, oh, yo. Man. Yo, as, as we find out more about this, we'll report on it. Yep, Indeed. and there'll, there'll be more uh, media games played. This ain't the end of it. Not even close. I thought they set his date for like April. Now it's yeah, gone. It April's it. over. They pushed it. They pushed it. They, they keep, keep pushing. pushing it. They That's keep pushing. Crazy dog. Yo, I yo, why y'all stop pushing P? <laughs> Play nope. Played out. I am holding y'all accountable. Played out. I'm holding y'all accountable, yo. Y'all pushed P for three weeks, y'all marketing fucks. It wasn't even that long. Y'all marketing fucks. Shit was 72 hours. It was everywhere for three weeks. Surrounded by P. And now nobody wants to push P. And when I remind the people that was pushing P that they was pushing P, they get embarrassed. I said, yo, you was pushing P. Well, they ran out of P. <laughs> ran out of P. Yo, ran out of P. Remember when you were saying? no water in months. <laughs> ran out of P, nigga. Remember you kept pushing P? Nah, you said that you were saying it too. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking haters. Um, what else we got that's important? Prayers to all involved. Indeed, yeah, we'll indeed. watch this and yeah, wait we'll, we'll, we'll Prayers wait. to all. Wait and see. Let the court do what the court do. Yeah. Uh, you, Let the legal system take us court. <laughs> Joe, Joe, you mentioned pushing P. Um, Want to ask about that contract expiring? <laughs> he That's another one, yo. We don't think gun. We don't really think gun out so the weekend, do we? Like I'm asking y'all, <laughs> forget it. I mean, yeah. I nigga, mean I, uh, push P, push uh, Chloe, uh, nigga, push anything you can push. Yo, that that Chloe and Gunner contract expired. They ain't even tell us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Remember I came in? I was like, oh, that could really be a love. <laughs> that was just stupid ass. That's why I be mad at you, yo. Sometimes I be telling you shit about my field and you argue with me. And I be like, shut the fuck up. I, don't, I, yo, dog, I can't I tell didn't... you how the house was built. If I came in your house and was like, yeah, the molding on this one, is little, you would look at me like. I said, what? Yeah, I be what trying are you to talk about. I be trying to tell you shit. Wait, because that was you, Chloe. Maybe they could really be in love at the Hawks game. <laughs> I remember that. Stupid. Of course you remember it, yo. <laughs> Niggas really believe that. Shit, pie, man. You know what I came in here yeah, screaming? Yeah, yeah. That's all the fuck you talk about. You know what I screamed? What? It's fucking Everyone. roll out. What they rolled out? Nigga, <laughs> I'm just saying. What was the end result? The album. Uh, <laughs> Only one though. I don't oh, know why. Man. <laughs> Got that up. <laughs> yo, if I wasn't scared, I'd be a great potter. Yo. I got my bro. I could go right into this. <laughs> I could right there too. I could have told her. All right, come on, you let's move on. Yeah, come on, man. You ain't think she was gonna profit <laughs> over this. <laughs> you, just been, you just gonna watch a Hulk game. <laughs> Hope you like Trey Young. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, son. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, listen. <laughs> We're not doing Y'all just trying to pull up anything that I hate now. Oh, we're in the hater segment. Yeah, oh, let's get it. it. We're in the hater segment now. Yo, but y'all say let's. Let's means more than me. Y'all got hate no, with me? I, yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely hate, hate the fakes. This is this is ridiculous. And then we're getting right into our Parks Backpack Hate segment. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Finally, we got some yeah, yeah, no, backpack hate. Okay. That, Round of applause backpack for backpack hate. hate. Backpack hate. <laughs> Mad at y'all is trash. <laughs> 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 Try to hide behind that low fi shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fake Lil Dirk and fake Drake have linked up. Fake Drake is wearing OVO merch that might be fake. <laughs> Lil Dirk, the first thing I said was this guy looks Nothing like Lil Durk. He looks nothing like Drake. The next, the, the, these niggas. Oh. What's the end goal here? Yo, I just seen there was a foot. There was a video that came out of an alligator just walking around Miami, like a big one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He don't never get to where these niggas get. <laughs> <laughs> I be watching some of these videos and I'm like, yo, this could really turn out good. If that alligator but just show up. Not one and human tiger. came out there. <laughs> yeah. Look at fake Drake, yo. Oh, Only shit. in hip hop. This oh, shit disgusts man. me. This is crazy. Why is this a thing? 
<laughs> this is ridiculous. He don't look nothing like Drake. Nah, he don't look like Drake. And he don't look nothing like... But nah, like, before, <laughs> like before he did, though, yo. They were showing, no, because he, he kept went, doing the profile nah, to the get, side. Nah, so nah nigga, like looking down, it doesn't nah, look nigga down. Got fat. That nigga got fat now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, word. He's been doing good. He couldn't, <laughs> this is booming. Yeah, he couldn't afford the lipo like Drake. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Hey, you got A to B, Drake? You got to get the lipo too, nigga? <laughs> this nigga's stupid, yo. <laughs> I hate bitches. Ah, Drake got abs. Word. <laughs> I'm such a hater. That's hate. That is hate. I just said that. Oh, yo, man. men are haters, and the second that we embrace what we hate, we'll have we'll really be potting, yo. This shit is ridiculous. I come here with all shit I hate. Dirk, you look nothing like Dirk. Sit your little ass down. <laughs> I was so glad Dirk dissed him. Nah, Did he? he ain't diss him. Nah, he I thought they were hanging out. Video, put yeah, him out on stage with him. That's like, all, he, man. He all right, him. great. I'm so glad Dirk's exploiting him. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm Dirk, I'll do that too, though. Nah, exploit for exploit. True. Nah, exploit nah, for nigga. exploit. True. Oh, nah, Trade. Nigga. You like first swap. Nah, walk out there. <laughs> you go on stage first. Everywhere I go. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to give my take on the fake Dirk or the real Dirk. They gonna really think I'm bisexual. I'm not. I promise y'all, I'm not. But if I'm, if there's a fake Joe Button running around and he's ugly, I'm stopping it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not promoting it. Both these niggas is ugly. These are ugly niggas. Yo. Right. That, that can't fly? Look at this nigga, yo. yo he just got fat. Bro. I'm he leaving just... the club if either the fake Drake or fake Dirk walk in. I don't want to be nowhere around the fake anybody. Oh, Enough man. of the real people is fake versions of themselves. I got to look at him. Oh, yo, you got an OVO chain, yo. They doing a video. They doing <laughs> a video. But no, they doing the video. They rapping along to that beat. Then I play little boy in the club because I do that. <laughs> nigga, Takashi will smack the shit out of you. <laughs> yo, Takashi might smack you for being a fake Dirk, yo. <laughs> now you got to live your life with the guy that's being the guy oh, that Takashi smacked. <laughs> yo, this nigga's so stupid, This is nuts, yo. bro. Yeah. That's my take. How about I'm, y'all? Yeah, this I is I don't not, understand it. I don't I'm, understand how this is the thing. Whose fault is this? Like, who made... Like, Drake, Drake and Dirk. No. No, no, I'm not the putting new, that on them. The internet. The new, yeah. Elon Musk. The new society. Yeah, I don't get that. Drake dapped it up with fake Drake, and so did Lil Dirt. Opposed to what, though? You supposed to slap him? Yeah. You don't have to endorse it, promote it, stamp it, co-sign. What are you talking about? It's, it's, As opposed it's to flattery, what? my nigga. Oh, stop it, yo. I want to, oh, I can't wait to fake ish. That might be fake ish. There's <laughs> <laughs> a better fake ish than a fake Drake, for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's. I don't know if that's fake Drake now, yo. Get him a stack of leases. That might be fake ish. Yo, 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 you stupid, it, though. Yo. Get him an F one fifty. You, you gonna be cool with that? With fake ish running around? Tell me, lie to me, lie to my face. Hell no. yeah, he would. I, no, he wouldn't. I'm not a mega star. Yo. Get out of some shit. Not. If Drake was a, a mega nigga, star, somebody just bowed to you in Wawa. Yeah, you're just a regular <laughs> star, I guess. Damn. <laughs> I'm not a star. I'm saying Drake. That's I heard your ignorant ass part, yo. They had a fake Michael Jackson. They had fake Elvis Presley. They had fake all of them. No, can we address you being no, a regular you star? Hey, I'm not a no star. Yeah, Nobody stupid. ever bowed to me yeah. without me paying them to do it. <laughs> you're stupid, yeah, yo. could you bow? That's your shit? <laughs> anyway, man. They got an extra everybody that was a mega star had a, 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 a fake. <laughs> you hear him? Yo, if it costs 50 to get her to bow, get her out of your ho hotel, yo. <laughs> she bowing for the 50. <laughs> For 50. That's just a disgusting. whole 50. Y'all went to the strip club like last week, yo. I was eyeing this chair like, damn, she looked good. And then she just dropped to the floor and started scraping up once. I was like, yeah. <laughs> that shit is a turnoff, Connor. I ain't gonna hold no kind of about it. Niggas, bro. It's no, not like, a kind of. Look where y'all came from, bro. bro. You look like a roach. Bitch, stop acting like a Roomba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, why are you down there, Josh? <laughs> Yo, could you get up? She was running into the wall and shit, too. Yo, I was just no, about... I was about to give you some spanky. I was oh, just about man. to save you from this establishment. Yo, that's Fucking crazy. Fucking dodo. <laughs> Room bad ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got it. I'm going to just yo. put a dub in there next up. Oh, man. Yo, Holy that, shit. That's funny, yo. <laughs> Fucking Room bad ass. <laughs> she was fine, too, before she dropped down and started collecting everybody ones. So you know when you in one of them way. just fell on my shoelace. She was she pulled out your shoe. Yeah, she started <laughs> scraping my shoelace. The stripper. Yo, were you, were you in that spot where they where they start collecting their little ones? It's about time. You know, a fight gonna break out at one point. Oh man, I like throwing the money and starting the fight. 
<laughs> I make sure some of it land on the floor and the bar and the, <laughs> and the stage. Spread it out. Yeah, now they start arguing. Mm-hmm. Bartender turn around, man, Joe, oh, that was for me, right? No, y'all. Y'all pool tips, that right? Was, that was for everyone. <laughs> that was for the culture. For the culture. Yeah, they're going to start banging out. And listen, part of me looking broke in the strip club is being loyal. Right? The partner bartender's got to split the money, but I be cool with one of the partners sometimes. And they whispered to me. Yo, just cash out me, yo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yo, that's my favorite moment in the strip club when the partner bartender stab her partner in the back. Oh, hey, hey, girl, I tip you more when you say that to me. <laughs> you want to start some shit. Yo, let me get it to you in full. Hey, you got to work on not getting your percentage of the pie cut out. True. Yeah, I went to true. work. I'm true. Mm-hmm. This bitch went to work. I don't even like her. <laughs> Y'all just put her here with nah, me. They be cool. And nah, I'm, they be cool. Sometimes they don't. And now I have to split my money with her. I got all my customers coming. Big dope boy niggas. They moving them. They getting it out here. Jewelry, <laughs> Cubans, Richard Millie. <laughs> like, all of that shit going on. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not splitting my shit with yeah, them. Yeah, pulling the tips Move. ain't it. Yeah, I'm sorry. In yeah, any type of that split tip, tip, shit tip gig. Imagine if every time you spit a verse... You had to split it with another random rapper that showed up. The other nigga that was there. Yeah, I hate that for months. Yeah, no. Nah, oh, man. Surf is here, you guys. He just popped in. Round of applause for Surf. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, where was we at? Oh, yeah, the strippers. And that was my favorite little moment in New York when the strippers and the bartenders had a little war going. <laughs> that was a fun time in New York. Bartenders won that, by the way. You don't say <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no shit <laughs> I was so happy man Lowered the price On some of them strippers Coming through the crib <laughs> Who you just rooting for? Huh? Who you rooting for? I was going It was a win-win Yeah whoever lost <laughs> It was a win-win <laughs> hey, Whoever win. lost Was coming through <laughs> man, yeah, <laughs> oh, Easy on the 3am Too late They was tired Yeah I was still gonna come <laughs> Alright <laughs> I'm up Yo, yo. It was so bad I was able to take a nap And catch them on the wake up Sometimes <laughs> I'm well rested too For this little 200 <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> It's the best money 200 ever bought Yo hey yeah, stop I'll, 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 I'll expose work. our secrets I don't have any I'll expose our secrets Alicia Keys any. Nigga I'll tell <laughs> I'll tell nigga I don't know what you Alicia tell Alicia said she'll never tell yeah. I don't know what you're talking about I won't tell <laughs> Nigga oh. stupid I won't tell your secrets. Stupid ass. You fucked the whole song up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a remix. Y'all believed her? Hell no. I, I did. Oh, yeah. I got a funny joke that I got to skip. <laughs> Damn, I hate when that happens. <laughs> she told. All right. <laughs> thousand percent. All right, come on now. <laughs> you on the ledge? Mm, she did, though. Mm, 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 mm. She told. I ain't saying nothing. They live in Iron Man house. I just said they told. Yeah, but it's literally Iron Man's house, so I'm just giving that. Yeah, I'm chilling. You're fucking but shitting me. She told though. All right, uh, is there any more hip hop shit that's important that we have to get to? I don't think so. We covered the baby fighting wisdom and fighting his artists. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Uh, oh, I pressed the wrong shit. No, nah, that was oh pretty funny. Oh my god, that, that nigga been fighting wisdom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Puff to host the two, 2022 Billboard Music Awards. What is there for me to say here? Nothing. Congrats. Yeah. Great Congratulations. Job. Go, Puff. Can't wait to see it. Score for the black folk. All right. Expound. It's a score for the black people. Anytime Puff do some shit, I right? just like when... Black people do shit. Right. We got to... Yeah, mean, but how do you think Park feel about that? How you going to sit in Park's house and say this? Shut up. See, Elon Musk just bought Twitter to shout out Park. I mean, All right, right. Oh, right. <laughs> score for the white people. It's got a segue. All right, mean? come on, round of applause. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at you being a segue king. Elon Musk bought Twitter for forty-four billion cash. Cash. Score Bag it up. Folks. Told y'all. Cash. Nah, not cash. Y'all joking? Told y'all. Oh, I'm about to say he ain't pull up the Twitter with forty-four million on there. Let's chill out. What do we think about that? How do we feel? I don't really know what it means, honestly. He's Talking about he wants to bring free speech. I never really felt like my speech was impe- impeded on. It I, is. It is. It's 100%. It's 100%. It? Yeah, Absolutely. What do you think he's going to do to change that? He made it private. The way he make it Reverse the like algorithm. Good. Now he's making it private. It's not a public company no more. He's making it private. I heard. What he does bought, that mean? I heard he bought yeah, all the shares. So like now just his? shareholders That's don't wrong. have no motherfucking say in what's going on. We don't want answers to no board. 
You don't gotta do none of that when it's private. That's it, crazy. Bro. If that's, I mean, True. that whole free speech thing that when when you buy it all yourself, it just means whatever I want it to mean. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Right. Like I now become the definition of free speech. Right. I own this shit, right. so I can say I don't want y'all talking about that, and if you do, I'm gonna ban you. True. And who's gonna stop me because it's my shit now? It's my shit. A hundred percent. That's that's all I take from that. Like, yeah, you could say free speech, but that means whatever your definition is of free speech. Right. Free. I do like that he said he wants to get rid of bots. I think that's a good good thing. I just I, want to see how you're gonna monetize it. You don't spend forty five bill to not have a to money not have no your spanky life. coming through. Yeah, we'll see. The I was spanky just, gonna come through. I, I was just about to pay the fee for uh, Twitter Premium, but for then the, yeah, it was. What does it do? Let's see, edit know. tweets, right? I don't know what it does, but I'm gonna pay for it. I don't, you know, I don't know nothing about that shit. Will you say how you monetize it? With a with a company or a platform this big, I could make some side deals with some politicians. Now, I could make some. I could make some money. I could make some shit happen. Ads, I ain't talking about ads. No, I, no, I was saying just everything. Yeah, I'm ads talking about the norm. Yeah, true. I'm talking about over here now. I could work with this country, and we That's could true. we could control some shit. That's true. That's mm-hmm. where I monetize it at. So hypothetically, if he wanted, I'm just this is a hypothetical. Uh-huh. If he wanted to give. Putin the opportunity to say his side of the story he could exactly you get what I'm saying where that is not wouldn't be allowed in other yeah. social streams not today yeah. today he can't he can't get on channel 7 and talk you get or, what I'm saying but if he wanted to give him an opportunity to express what he had to say on Twitter he could like like for all we know and um, right, to use your example Putin could be doing that and then they got certain shit over here that's yeah, it's gonna block. Filtering yeah. it. Yeah, filtering, filtering. Perfect word. Filtering we'll it out right. so we don't so see we'll it. Never so see what it. he's saying is, I could open this shit up and mm-hmm. free speech. Yeah. If he say it, you can see it. True. If you disagree with it, you can also see the opposite side of that argument. If they say it over here, but to just not have it, this it's kind of like ignorant. In the sense, this right? ain't for us to explain. I wish we had someone like CBS to uncover this if they weren't busy <laughs> with the <laughs> time Meg, stamping Meg and Kelsey text. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, yo. That's just wild. Bro. Hey, you know who asked they on? I forgot where I read it at. Hey, uh, damn. Oh, the girl's going wild, dude. They on his ass. <laughs> you, what happened? He was a creep? What? Which wouldn't be a shocker. They girl's saying he was... wild. Wow. Yeah, they saying they, he was Epstein or shit. They saying. Uh, nigga, all of us said it. <laughs> I don't know nothing about the nigga, man. I ain't... Joe oh well, I was Francis. in Miami when that little girls going wild bus was just pulling up outside of clubs and <laughs> the windows weren't tinted. So he liked the chill. <laughs> you can clearly, clearly look in the bus. Yo, oh they're fucking on that bus. Oh he's fucking all of them on that bus. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay, y'all, y'all thought that wasn't how, like where's the shot? I'm sure Joe is. Yeah, I'm sure Mr. Francis has had his fair share fun. He's had. To. He's the creator of girls going wild. Like, what does it mean to him? Because that's who's the creator, right? So he, must girls, have seen, he must have seen girls going wild. He had to see girls go so. wild a little bit. He must have found inspiration from somewhere. Right. Yo, and that's why you brought up a topic that we won't touch, but I'll stay in that ballpark. That's why I'm mad that all the people that possess the spring bling footage, they're suppressing the footage. And I want them to put it out so cancel culture can do what they must. <laughs> if y'all think girls going wild was wild. Right. Y'all know what was happening to them spring blings? Yeah, but then we know what happened after that. Them freak nick tapes pop up. And it's quiet. I'm going to hate to tell you. <laughs> so you just leave it alone. The freak nick chicks are some niggas' mothers out here. <laughs> I swear to God, I, I, I was thinking that, but I didn't know you not be trying nah, to think with my pop mom. I fucked uh, some of y'all moms. If your mom's, if your mom's 44 and older, <laughs> nigga. She's a, she's a, she might have oh, been a freak nick. Hey, y'all got the traffic used to be stuck for hours. Girls was getting in niggas' cars, getting right, getting out. You was there? <laughs> Niggas was throwing, yeah, I was there, nigga. Niggas was throwing condoms out the window. You was catching them? Nope. You was wow. fucking them? Nope. Nope. I got bad, bad receiver. Catch, why would he catch any condoms? Bad receiver. bad receiver. Never fucked a freak, nigga. Nah, mm-hmm. I feel you on that. Not me. <laughs> nope, not me, said the duck. <laughs> the <God>. duck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the feathers back in that one, bro. Yeah. Where the fuck did you get that? Shizzles, man. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, what are we doing here? The director of the documentary tells Inside Edition that Joe Francis was a violent abuser who managed to just uh, keep on getting away with it because of his charm. Get your ass on the van. <laughs> like that type? Is it? Was it like that type of like? No. Abuse or like? No, it wasn't. Nah, it was probably they like saw the girls go wild van and was begging to get on the van. Yeah. I, uh, 
Well, right. you still can't I ain't gonna abuse say the girl. Say girl. Right. You can't abuse the girl. I, no, I'm not saying no, no. I should walk into the edge. I look, yeah. No, I, I just answer a certain question. Alone, it's the ice pop gas. <laughs> I just answer a certain question. I don't. Nothing no, no, after that, I don't know. I'm, he said, "Was they? Was he forcing them?" Wait, I'm trying to reel you in. You, my you right? That's my dog. That's my dog. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I got for you. You and Elon. You wanted to make your little DVDs. <laughs> Hope it was fun. I'm sure it was. Uh, it was you made some money, though. I'm sure he it made did. It. What? Hell yeah, he did. probably ain't got it no more. Straight that's why, off, that's just why the, off, the brand, off the name. Damn. I wish lawsuits was popping when Spring Bling was on. I just sued some of you chicks. Y'all was making me uncomfortable. What they did. <laughs> huh? What they did. Oh, please. You chicks can fucking grab your dick, stretch it while you're trying to go to the bathroom, walk by. <laughs> you ain't gonna say just grab it, but you can't. you on your ass, we put a finger in your ass. Can't, can't, say nothing you can't say nothing. Can't say nothing about that. You can't say nothing. Chicks will grab your dick today. Today, nigga. Who put their finger in your ass when you was walking? We need to find her <laughs> and get her. And get her a, off the streets. We need to get off the streets for real. She needs. It need to be warrants out for her arrest. If you was walking past a female and she fingered you, <laughs> dead ass, she need a warrant out and for her arrest. they won't say a word, dog. Yeah, that's They look at you like, wash your fingers off. You got some, yo. <laughs> you might be holding on to some demons, bro. A woman walk past you and put your put What finger, demon? Having a finger putting your ass on the walk pass. What would be the demon? Expound that you didn't get the let's talk like let's talk about you never what got if, to talk about him to nobody. Talk about, about what do you mean? I've spoken about it plenty of times. What if that was I was into that? What if I like that? You like to be it's not what if not, I like that? If you like that, that's fine in a room somewhere, whatever. You talking about random women fingering your ass when you walk past. Did you say yes? What if I liked it? Did you like it? You know what this conversation reminds me of? You know how many of my uh, male friends tell me about them losing their virginity to the babysitter when they were nine and they think right. like, oh, I was really into it. No, no, you were raped. You was, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I think you was... <laughs> why men fondled. like being... Why, I forget it. <laughs> why do men like being raped? Men don't know it. Right. We Your think babysitter men, shouldn't be fucking you. Yeah, we no, think it's it something cool. Yeah, it's, it's a badge of honor. Yeah, nigga. You're not even allowed to think you that. You was nine fucking yeah, think about a 15 all the times the, uh, the story about the teacher fucking the kid came out and it was like, oh man, that kid was the man in high school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was jealous. I ain't. Why that teacher wasn't uh, in my high school? That was, yeah, that was definitely wrong. But I was, I was always jealous. But I was always like, that's yeah. fucked up. I, but I would have, wouldn't mind to be the kid. I ain't get it. You in the school, you got a little relationship going you're not supposed to have. I mean, but the way they be texting the kid, like, <laughs> niggas home. <laughs> his, his mom might have his phone. He's, he's, four, he's 14. His, his mom's, he's actually on the same planet as his mom. He got brothers and sisters. Let me see your penis. This yeah, is a group yeah, family what are y'all plan. Doing? It's, it's a fucking family plan. You see, yeah, you the asking t- for penis. Yeah, the teachers be going crazy in the text. It girl. don't be the kids. It no. don't be the kids at all. No, come on. All right, come on. Let's move on. What we got? What we got? Oh, shit. You know what I want to ask y'all about that I shouldn't ask y'all about here? Only because Envy is uh, on uh, promo run promoting uh, his wife's book. So Uh I'll ask y'all, because they're asking everybody to come to the Breakfast Club now. Uh, Would you be able to know if your girl or sex partner was faking orgasms with you for five to ten years? Would I be able to tell? Yeah. Not if she started off faking orgasms from the rip. She might be a good actor. I don't know. Yeah, she could be fake. She would be good at at faking it. So y'all say no. I think if she started off faking it, like if you was giving her real orgasms and then she... If you was giving her real orgasms and then it changed, uh-huh. I think you would be able to tell. That's anything consistency mm-hmm. to change. But if she was faking from the rip, need your long form answer. It, no, a yes or it's, no, it's, please. It varies. No. The, I'm with, it, I'm with sir. It varied. That's if she faked it from the rip, then then how would you know? You ain't gonna know. I like to think that I can tell, but that being she do, said, if she's a very it, it, good the, actor, yeah, she doing the stomach spasms and all. Yeah, that. she she know how to. Yeah, like the, the stomach the, clenching and all. You doing? Yo, too when, much. The, when the, <laughs> <laughs> they start doing crunches, it's different, yo. I don't you know, don't got like, faking the legs, yeah, shaking all that. That's yeah, unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I rather oh, take t- t- twenty trash. minutes later, the legs still be twitching. Hey, I, I, she just I, out there. Uh, if she fake it, she so only hurt. So the answer is no. Hello? Deer, no, not to me. Because we do, have we gonna move on. <laughs> okay, the answer is no. Got it. If she fake it, she only hurting her anyway. So I mean, the deer legs. I mean that part. That part was real. Who fakes so. the walk to the bathroom too? Like after, you know what I mean? Like they that's do. just. I know that's what I'm saying. That's too much. Girls got all their tricks from just walking to the bathroom with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like when you're not like you know. That's with a girly little plan. That's where they get like. I don't mean like to the bathroom. John talking when they get out the bed from fucking like you know the first the two stumble. steps be yeah, like yeah, deer yeah. legs. You know what I mean like yeah. that's that's her faking it like after the sex is over. That's too much. That's cool. Ice. 
seven minutes? No, nah, not even that. I'm just saying, if you want to go through all of that, all that it, shit, right? That's knock much. yourself out. My nut was real. You so the word. Like, <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm laughing. At yeah, yeah. You do all of that. I'm going. You not hurting me. I didn't watch you. I was asleep. She could lay down for a second. I'm gonna what you do. I'm gonna freshen up again. Clean myself. I came everywhere. Jesus. Get my thoughts. I'm so ashamed. All right. Oh, you faked it. Okay. I didn't. Ta-da. <laughs> what I'll say is if you faked it and I can't tell, your pussy's trash. Hmm? If you faked it and I cannot tell, then your pussy's trash. I'm only speaking from my experience. I, I agree with him. That pussy do something different when it starts when, com- when, when it's pussying. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. Start it's cooking. not the same it wash start- cycle. Yeah, it is. Uh, you true. can. F- you. Hey, well, I had a little, I had a little like, milk to the macaroni and cheese. Yeah. So yeah. A little milk going to macaroni and cheese. Yeah, yeah it does. They, they, I'm not going to disagree. Yeah, when they start coming, it's, it's stirring it up. <laughs> yeah. It's stirring it up. Whoa. Squash, 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 squash. Whoa. Martin be like, squash, squash. Yeah, it's different, yo. <laughs> oh, what's that sound? <laughs> squash, squash. <laughs> yo, remember <laughs> Martin? <laughs> yo, shit do be a little different, yo. Yeah, I, yeah. I like that. That pussy start pussying. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, y'all got some shit with y'all. That's when I stop that. moving. I'm just leaving hard dick in there. Ah, you ain't forcing me. Now I'm chilling. Nah, you go. I'm feeling the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get more of it. Yeah, nah, yeah. <laughs> Don't move. Oh it's shit, just... your pussy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me match your intensity. <laughs> the fuck are you talking oh, about? Oh, that should be man. feel. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So if it ain't doing that, <laughs> then yeah. <laughs> Your screaming ain't did nothing. I still not it. Nah, you can't. You one of them. No, I'm not yeah, one of them. What no, I'm we, saying, we said, no. we, let me. What I'm saying sound is, is, is find hold up. I ain't trying to be barbaric. What I'm saying is, if you need to go through all of that, cool. You don't change nothing on this end though. But they feel like they're going through that for us. But you're not. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Really going through that for you because I'm gonna because get to the same care. result. Is what I mean. So I, whether what you do all of that or you don't, guess what. So I'm if still, a chick didn't I'm moan, gonna still get there. So if a chick didn't moan and she just like my dick gonna get soft, stared you straight in wait, the face. Soft. Wait, wait, your dick is getting soft if she don't moan. Yes. <laughs> if you just laying there, like, while I'm talking I'm about popping? she just straight looking you in yeah, your like, like let's say because like I, I, I say you don't care if she's fake or not. You. What if she just looking you in your face and just not moaning? What's just... the straight breathing regular? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Bitch, you a statue? I'm good. I'm not. No. That's tantric sex. No, that's it's not. What? That's tantric that's sex. Not hey, tantric. Google, up, Google that. <laughs> that's not. No, you ain't even no need. That's not tantric sex. That is tantric sex. I think it's the term. That is tantric sex. That's one of y'all moves. Tantric though, right? sex is based on breathing. Slow, meditative form of sex where the end goal is not orgasm, but enjoying the sexual journey and sensations of the body. That's and, like a cult. So if he's no, not that's moaning, like a cult of people. No, Joe, that's not true. You can moan during tantra. A tantric sex. You could breathe real heavy. Chick just sitting there with the fucking stone face like she listening to Jay-Z. Looking- I'm good, my nigga. <laughs> Fuck you Why talking about? Why does she have about? a stone face? She listening to Hove. What you trying like to say? Only Ish can incorporate a whole <laughs> metaphor <laughs> yeah, and, and sex. sex conversation. Yo, it's it's fine. like this. Like she just missing it, just looking you in yeah, your face. Yeah, I'm to- good. <laughs> but that's not quite dead fish. You don't think so? I have a problem with dead fish. What y'all are naming is not dead fish. What's it's somebody name? not moaning. But there's mad other noises the you can make. The fish about to die. He just came out the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> he about to die. He dead just fish got is out the water. Yeah, like, he on I the like beach. Kick, I like, fuck up, man. Nah, I ain't playing. Dead fish is your arms on the bed. Like, you ain't, like, thrusting that little shit up. Dog, we are at an age. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, <laughs> shot, what? Little, Yo, Mike your, Tyson was recently yeah. on it. Yo, what? Mike Tyson got on a flight, <laughs> and somehow there so was a heckler behind him in first class. White boy, no surprise. Had a little friend sitting over in 4E or some shit. There you go. That set him straight. A little straight. Right. <laughs> Learned them something There's a little bit of straight. A little bit of straightening. Yo, I asked well. you to please be quiet behind me. You had a lot to say. You wanted to make a scene, and now a scene is here. Yeah. And now you're going to yeah. sue. You looking now, for a nigga, now you found a nigga. Now he's retained a lawyer. See, and that's what white people, like, black people know. You don't do this to Mike Tyson. They do too. White people know you don't do that to Mike Tyson. Too. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. You know sometimes he gets a bit erratic. And let me test him. Mike's been chilling for a long time. He, has he, awesome. yeah, he must have really said still, some shit. He still got it in him. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. Why would he you fuck with Mike Tyson? Like, there's a people, list of people to fan. not fuck with. He Lux. might be number one. Look at his face. How do you get that bruised in such a small quarters that fast? Uh, <laughs> nigga, this Mike Tyson. He yeah, ain't trying to swing nigga, back at all. Look at them quick punches. Them short ones. Word. And bust them all open in the head, Paul. Man, nigga, whip your ass in the phone booth. 
<laughs> and what happened after that was <laughs> I didn't see any more footage of the of this young man saying something to Mike Tyson. And you won't. He, he lost. He learned. He lost his ability. No, to he learned. Speak. No, no, no. He learned. He learned. <laughs> he lost his ability to. to but then further, in the, in the, in the, in the, your ass beat in the cubicle. In the leaked footage that came out, um, his partner is bleeped, but he seems to be saying some racist stuff, and. The guy is under his breath or trying to whisper, but a loud whisper saying, pass it, pass it, or whatever that was. You don't know what he was replying to because it was bleeped out. Uh, but if that's real audio, I can't prove it or authenticate it. But if it was, yeah, I'm getting up to fuck you up real quick and go back to the flight. Like You can't say those things about me behind me. Look, Mike just trying to enjoy a little sun kiss or some shit. Read a little newspaper. Probably take a little edible on the flight. Yeah. Yeah. Mike on there reading Hot Tales Part Two or some shit. <laughs> I just don't. This is this is called fuck around and find out. Nah, I just that's don't. what this is. He no, fucked around like, and he found out. This don't seem real to me. That's how crazy it is. Like that's Mike type. We in the first class of a plane and like nobody's gonna say like he's really wild. Sir, this sir is crazy. we live oh, we live in a clout age. An we too, live man. in a clout Thank age you. where these little niggas welcome, will do Joe. anything to go viral. How old you think that man is? And cool and let the, Mike Tyson whoop my ass. Yeah, the, the white dude? Yeah. 21. He got it. Like, he don't know what Mike hands are. Yes, he do. He don't. Yes, he do. He he don't. Mike Tyson's he knows name now. is synonymous no, no, no. with He knows. He knows now. He, he knows. He knows. He's seen Hangover. He might not know. He, he know Mike Tyson, dog. I he promise you. He see Trevor Burbick. I don't care. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> he's seen Hangover. Now what he, I'm telling you is... He knows, years old, you know but what he Mike knows, all, what he also knows is if I can get this nigga to hit me, right? He or, wouldn't have been bothering him if he didn't know the fuck Mike I Tyson agree. was. Exactly. If that I was agree. me sitting there, he's not gonna bother me. No, what I'm saying is he don't know what them hands do. You heard the stories. We was around. We was kids. We saw the fights. I believe that he's just inciting them. I don't even think my man should get a dime. I, agree. I don't think he, he should. should get a fucking. He clearly penny, did this to, to. You are, you are instigating somebody to punch you in your fucking face. Yeah, he'll probably get a dollar before. He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna get some money. He, he might settle. Money. He's gonna get something. He's gonna settle. Yeah. But yeah, I, I got it. Take I this little. Yeah, ass it might be money. worth it. Take this little ass woman money. Might be worth it. But this is the time we live in right now, right here. This is I what people want to so. do. Yeah, this is clout error. I don't think so. Shit, you crazy as hell. He's gonna settle. He's gonna settle. Prayers to Mike Tyson or. He didn't deserve that. Good for home, look, boy. Look, look, look. He happy. Look, look, look. He look. look. He pointing at it. He, we might have touched them for. He might have touched them for all we know. Yeah, I'm, I'm off of this. I'm it's glad disgusting. Mike Tyson is all right, and hopefully, hopefully, he don't have to pay this clown any money in the future. Shit. I'm telling you, something, I don't, I don't he's definitely about to pay something. Um. What else is important? Do y'all want to get into basketball shit? I feel like y'all will lose your mind on all this playoff stuff going on. <laughs> uh, what else is important here? Liam Neeson's agent. I want to know who he is. Same as, uh, what's homeboy name? Uh, Jason Statham. Worse, yo. Same, same agent. Probably. Seriously? No, I don't know. I'm Probably. just assuming. They make the same movie. I see what Joe's getting at. Liam Neeson has a new movie out called, or coming out called Memory. Where he forgot that someone got took. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, for, he forgot that he lost his daughter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yo, I want to fight Liam Neeson. Yo, I just want to know who his agent is. Because I want to hire him. <laughs> that guy's doing a remarkable job. Getting all these bullshit Liam Neeson movies greenlit. Hey, look, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Word. I'm with 50 on the Stars boycott for six months. I don't have a reason to be there, but I'm just there. I'm with it. I just like to call to action. Wait, what happened? He called for a boycott? Yeah, after the uh, Force finale, he called for everybody to just not watch Stars for six months because he doesn't have anything coming for six months. Oh, okay. And I like it. I mean, yeah. what else was we watching Stars for? Yeah, I'm like, I don't, don't want to watch it anyway. I watch High Town on that's Stars. Not, that's, it's not out yet, so. It's not out. Uh, oh, wait, hold up. Ain't P Valley on Stars? There's something else on oh, Stars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 50. You on your own, man. We back to the pink in June, baby. <laughs> I used to be quick to sell us out, y'all. quick. Like that. He be fast. He said it was 500 mil, but it's not. It's no, 20, no, 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 it's $20. no. It's less than 500 mil. <laughs> it's 20, no, it's $20. $14 a month. $40 in a uh, fucking... <laughs> A new Apple Watch. Yeah, he getting us out of here, yo. Bro, this nigga crazy. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Y'all can get y'all playoffs. shit. go ahead, man. You don't want to? You want to talk about Snowfall finale? <laughs> I know Ice had some hate to get off. No, I just can't possibly hate the finale. The finale can, was the finale great. was great. You can hate the really season, was. 
Did it air? It, it aired. Yeah, it aired. Yeah, when? Uh, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday. Wednesday. Last Thursday. I might not even seen the finale. Man, that shit oh, was okay. amazing. It was. It was good. It was good. It was the last finale. couple episodes were good, but they could have done everything that happened in this season in like three episodes. Maybe. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-mm. And cut out all they the other bullshit. Yeah, they could have. When I came in here and said, yo, it's starting to feel like some filler Can you episodes. turn off the footage from the finale if that's what you're showing me, the guy that hasn't seen the finale yet? Uh, spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, you can tell nah, me. I don't care. I'm still going to watch it, but I don't want to watch it. But nah, like, I, remember, I came in here and said, yo, these starting to feel like filler episodes. Yeah. Like, I'm this season just was you not like, it for me. You like P-Valley over Snowfall? The show I, or just this... The show. I don't like this last season. Sure, shut Snowfall. up, man. P Valley is one season. Yeah, P Valley is one season. I'm not comparing yeah, yeah, yeah. that to anything. I'm just asking if it's what it's the fuck. It's a season. It's what one the... season versus four seasons. Five, man. Five. I can name five. mad shows that had nine seasons that aren't that I don't like more than what are you talking about? Name it then. Prison Break. I like the first season. And every other had four more seasons where they weren't in a prison no more. Oh, that's fine. But Hated what I'm saying it. is a show with four seasons of greatness. I'm not comparing to a show. Yeah, with I'm not. I wouldn't even compare it to it though. It's per person. That's subjective, Joe. Anyway. That's like when that's like when Snowfall came out in season two and people started comparing it to the wire. Subjective. Right, and it was let, me like, let me react, sir. You're right. It's subjective. Thanks. Also, you're the only person in the world that has compared P Valley <laughs> to Snowfall. That's you true. can compare anything that you like that's, that's entertainment. That's why it's subjective. All right. All right so, so what it's do you subjective? Think? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Give Wait, me I swore they told us P Valley. Was it P Valley or Pose? They didn't say P Valley's last season is coming soon, right? No, that nah, was Pose. Pose. That was Pose. Yeah, yeah. That was the last season. I ain't like that either. They need to bring Pose back. Uh, what else is super important? I can save my R. Kelly take for Patreon. Uh, I have a part of the show, but I don't want to step on. Is there anything else that we uh, have to get out that's burning in our souls? Nah, I don't have nothing. We can do basketball so none, if you want so to. none of y'all <laughs> like when a girl put her finger in y'all ass. Just so we clear, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, nobody, I didn't, nobody, nobody here. Hey, didn't care. I've never had that. Right, happen. Just check. Yeah. Well, you've ne- I've never had it happen. happen. Tried nothing. No, I'm not interested. Right. That's crazy. Mm. Y'all don't care that the G spot is back there. I'm good. Do you care yeah. that the G spot? I like is the back A there? spot, nigga. No. <laughs> what the fuck you I don't even know where G fall in the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where that falls. That's that's too much. Yeah. I just took my little weapon away. I was about to ask what he do when they try it. I wanted to see if he did the little scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> the scoot, I did the scooter. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I ain't no real freaks. Ain't nobody tried that. What you did part? You hit her. He said the scooter. That's the part. Stop it. No one's that. Wait, the scooter. You can't hit women. That's the scoot and pop. Scoot the handle away. <laughs> I think you know, he gave him a little pow pow. What the fuck was that? Oh, it took her eye out. Smack the hand away. Oh man! What girls do to y'all during sex that you wish they didn't do? Then talk. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm playing. They don't have that long. You said seven minutes. The bitch talk real quick. <laughs> it's like Chinese. <laughs> she do like this nigga that said ninety seven bitches put, in here, and this, I'm putting money in. He put five dollars, and he I have he, more coming. I said, I'm, said I'm putting a dub in he's next time I come here. Yeah, he said it. I'm not. We keeping track. Keeping track. This is a hater, yo. I'm a hater. She's a fucking hater. I'm not gonna lie. Don't grab my ass. Like I just don't like not to like. Like go grab my ass. You ever had a chick? You ever had a chick? She grabbed, yeah. you ever had a chick she grabbed the yams and she like grab your butt with the head. Like I don't like. To, I, don't, I don't grab my butt with the head. I don't like that. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What? When they be on their knees, they what? get low. And they just like be... if she honey, like she try to cup your yeah. butt with the head. That's <laughs> what I'm they start pumping their mouth. <laughs> right. yeah, they like, start pumping their mouth. Start thrusting they on my. Don't grab my butt with the head. I'm good on that. <laughs> you don't like when your ass get cuffed? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not. I go lie. Give me a little smack. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> I'm not a fan nah, of that. No, when they do it to me, I'd be thinking the cuff wars is happening. I'd start putting them in the headlock. <laughs> oh, we cuffing? Oh, we cuffing now? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like that. I'm not joking. The butt, not the butt cuff. Oh, Your surf is stupid, yo. They like your shit. Don't. <laughs> don't even say it like that. Nah, you don't <laughs> y'all, could y'all answer the question? That's all I don't like. You the get butt the question cuff. Off no, because like? I always wanted to ask like a real gang mem- member about how they felt about the ass getting cuffed. <laughs> <laughs> don't grab my ass. I don't like. I don't uh, like sleeping with my ass out. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I feel like you need a blanket. Some, you need a blanket. Some cover yeah, your yeah, ass. Yeah. Yeah. At least a sheet. A little <laughs> sheet. You know what I mean? Like, That's t- my body. Period. Tie that shit around like a toga. What they call them shits at the little parties? Like little Caesar used to wear. I need something around my ass. Yeah, toga, yeah. toga, yeah, toga right. party. Yeah, I can't trust a man that just sleep asshole out. 
How would you know? Oh, that's me. I don't know. <laughs> you said you can't I'm... trust them. I don't know. <laughs> Do you sleep asshole out? No, nigga. All right, then I trust you. But it's still weird. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's still weird boxers. <laughs> it's still weird boxers. Oh, fuck. Yo, only, <laughs> only construction workers wear boxers. Shit. <laughs> Can't run out of nowhere. You got the flannel <laughs> shit. <laughs> wearing tiny boxers. Extra long. <laughs> Yo, come on, about? grow up, you guys. <laughs> no. This is a professional podcast. Please. Man, stupid. <laughs> Wait, yo. Look at it's like, what do you mean? What's wrong with boxes? <laughs> I don't know. Who don't wear boxes? <laughs> what the fuck you wear? Tidy whities? Who the ever, you boxer boxer boxes. briefs? Ish, Every y'all please fuck. allow the floor to ish, please. Yeah, boxer briefs. Don't pull, don't pull your pants. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I asked. No, no, it's it's so it's mine. Can y'all? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga about to pull out on us. Oh, shit. <laughs> this nigga stupid. Yo, hey, stop wearing boxers, yo. Uh, for, for get some cool shit, yo. Too much air go up your leg in boxers. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool out here. Yo, one time I accidentally bought briefs because it was like in the same type of package. <laughs> <You> accidentally? <laughs> No, I tried them on it's Stupid ass Yo, tall legs That ass. shit was way they uncomfortable cuffed, they, bro They cuffed your butt You're, They don't nobody want the, 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 yeah, the parts of the legs cross. Ain't supposed to touch the jeans man It was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga. Oh, shit. You better stop wearing boxes bro. Oh. Joe, you That nigga pulls his pants off Look like you work at Staples <laughs> 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 what are you talking <laughs> Good boxers You gotta, whack, you gotta push the boxers boxer. down Into the jeans boxes. Yeah nah <laughs> Not boxers, boxers. I, I would hope nobody in here Wears boxers in 2022 I'd be free balling It's a joke <laughs> for content on the pod Look at y'all look at <laughs> Y'all will look at me strange And ask me to expound No <laughs> No we don't No we won't No one said expound nah, bro nah, <laughs> What you do in sweatpants At the strip club Is your business Boy man. wow Under <laughs> them Palm Angels At the strip club <laughs> <laughs> At the strip club Commando I was oh. once Yeah this nigga Crazy uh, like, no, Hella no. air going At this sweat Yo I seen I seen a few I seen a few of you niggas Out there in my lifetime Be commandoing With jeans on <laughs> 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 That's that white boy shit That's white boy shit Ew. Right there That's white boy that shit That penis wow. strong as hell <laughs> <laughs> You ain't white You said your penis strong right, we just, all right. strong penis. All right, did we, do, we have a part of the show segment oh, we, had, we do have a part of the show segment oh. I don't know if we're gonna call this gentleman Cause this looks like some type of foreign number But I'll give it to you Oh man Use my phone <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, w- I wasn't trying to save money. Oh, <laughs> I just I got, long, I, got I got long distance. We can hit him. <laughs> you know, he got buddy, oh, buddy Zimb- pass minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he got some shit. What about Ben Zimbabwe? I got, I got op, uh, oh. What's that? Oh man! All right. Oh my god! Oh, what is this here? So stupid, yo. What's this guy's name? Daquan. Daquan. That, that ain't overseas, nigga. Ain't no nigga right in Newark. Ain't no Daquan in London, but hey, overseas my ass. In Newark. Or in Jersey City. Yo, y'all ain't shit, man. Daquan says, yo. It's Daquan. What's your best excuse for when you come fast after talking big shit to the woman you wanted for the longest? Here's another one. How do you deal with being the man amongst your friends and you know they aren't as great with women as as you are? You can't be the man and coming fast. That's the first thing I think when I hear that. But well, he didn't say he comes everyone's fast. Everyone's gotten off the day, man. He said he yeah. came fast he for said, the chick that he had an IOU yeah. with. Oh, right. Yeah, I wanted you for the longest. Now, sometimes yeah, happens, I finally so. got you. Yeah. Anticipation was a little high. You got to just have a good bounce back game. Nah, you just got to have it. Yeah. We didn't get to the seven. Round two, you got to bring Mayweather out, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. call it perk, man. You get a little. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he at. I don't know where he at in life. The perk man going to get you right. Every time. <laughs> Your advice to him is to take some perk dirties. <laughs> nah, yeah, that's opioid nah, addiction. Nah, nah, <laughs> yeah. Over, over, over Christina. Over you just going to become a perk dirties. Any idea where he, should, where he should get those perk dirties from? <laughs> nah, nah, that's Do you have an enterprise that <laughs> you, you perk could recommend? Too much. He's going to fall asleep in that shit. Perk 10, that's it. You feel me? Numb that shit up Yo, a little bit. Hey, while we on the topic, hey, for 420, I stopped at some of these dispensaries. You nigga, some of you customers at the dispensary be getting spicy now that the weed legal, boy. What? What do you mean? They was measuring it. They be wilding out a little bit at the dispensary. It's only 3.2. They coming in there to turn it up. They got their scale with them. (laughs) 
Ik word een little shit, een little hat. You get a little hat. This is You can legally say it now. I got my scale. You bought, it, you bought his own it's scale. It's 3.4, dog. What? <laughs> nigga, bring his own scale to the dispensary. You, you got been, some nerve. You've been fighting for weed rights for 20, 30 years, only for the shit to get corporatized, and now they make you feel stupid when you walk in the dispensary. You just come in to cop a little flower. You walk, Hey, man, where well, you got a little... Well, we have the cartridges over here. We have the, the this over here. The leaves are over here. The the the, the, the vape pens are over here. We have mm. yo dog. Just where's the weed? Yeah, I don't know why <laughs> like, they even bought it. Y'all giving me all of this other shit. Where's the dopest weed that you have? Nah, point fuck? me to the edibles, dog. Them dispensaries made so much money on 420. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, they made yeah. some money. Nah, I wilded out at the 420 party. Man. That was their Christmas. Toys R Us, for y'all to go out of business with Christmas, like y'all. And with weed coming y'all legal? Are, y'all are fucking failures, yo. Could have sold bongs. To the kids. But, yeah, you know. Do y'all section. have any advice for Daquan? For when you come round fast. two, man. Yeah, you yeah, just got to round two. It. Yeah. What He's saying, it, what excuse what do you, you use? What excuse do you use? Uh, that you shit was good. Was it? It was you, girl. Law and order. It was you, girl. <laughs> it was you. It you low-key you got it. Yeah, you got to blame you. Yo, I can't fuck with that on the TV, yo. Come on, yo. <laughs> That's in the background. <laughs> killing Fucking loud-ass <laughs> dog barking, man. Come on, yeah. man. Now you blame Don't make her. Make me bust quick. Now you just blame Get her. Get your stupid-ass dog out the room. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I was about to go there, your dog started putting his finger in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the scoop. The scoop made me nut. <laughs> yo, why yo, you move? I yo, told you don't move. Yo, why your dog hit my g spot? <laughs> 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 Nigga, How you man. want me to not come fast? <laughs> and y'all in here wildin'. Hey, get Dior out of my ass. <laughs> Yo, they dog, a dog man. definitely named that for the bag, yeah, for yeah, sure. <laughs> Birkin moves. All right, come on. I'll throw another part of the show at y'all, and then we'll find sleepers somewhere. Come there on. was a second part to that one, too, though. No? What was the, you, Oh, you're the man. You're the man in the, in the friend circle, right? So what about the man in yeah, the friend just circle? Take all the girls. I don't know what to tell you, bro. No, I hope your niggas. Do step you their need game. our help with you being the man? If you're the man, so well, it's like basketball. You got to take you. You support. Maybe you're not the if man. You're the man. You got to be the point guard. True. And then you got to make your other guys. You got to make you know great players make other people better. True. So if y'all can't get bitches, I'm gonna get bitches. That's gonna get y'all bitches. You got three dollars. That's three bucks. Yeah. Ten, yeah. ten seconds. Three dollars to the cup. Um, nah. Here's another one from Chrissy. Chrissy's a no good, but I'll read it anyway. I broke up with my ex almost two months ago after he started showing his true colors while living with me. Mm -hmm. When he would drink, he would say racist shit about my culture or degrading shit like how much he earned more than me, even though he was living in my home. Oh, no, he was wild. I had to block him on all my socials and block his fake accounts after he started stalking me. He refuses to believe we're, uh, he refuses to believe we are over, even though I've not seen him in all this time. This week, this weekend is my birthday, and I arrive home from work day with a parcel at my uh, doorstep. I opened it, and it was a book he got made with cartoon caricatures of me and him saying things. I can't. Uh, let me read it. <coughs> saying things in the book like "I'm not giving up on us." That's one of my favorite little toxic ones. That means I got my whole life to try to get you back. <laughs> you said that the one. You can't say that after you get the racist shit off. I, I definitely. <laughs> Well, I've never done that part. <laughs> and yeah, I've used that before. I'm not giving up on us. I'm not giving up on us. Come on. I love you. It's my everything. Don't, don't, don't you be trying to steal my lines. I mean, that's nah, a good you. one. I ain't gonna lie. Just, uh, that's mad subtle. I feel so creeped out and yes. I don't know what to do. He has four big items that need to be picked up from my house and I don't want him in my house. So I booked Air Tasker to move them to my driveway. <laughs> he sent his parents to my work yesterday. It's it's probably racist. This, this nigga's parents is losers. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Yeah, why they got time? Yo, call call, call your job. parents and see. Try to get them to your ex job. <laughs> see yeah, how that goes. That they don't want his ass in, in their, their house either. Word. You know, I, I take this. That's what that back. is. I, yeah, yeah, I could yeah. not get mad because they are old, but I felt concerned. I don't like the guy. I am so turned off by him, and he makes me sick at even just the thought of him. I don't know what else to do to keep him away from me. Sounds like you're all the right shit. <laughs> Sound like you just need a restraining order. <laughs> That's yeah. not a restraining order. on a nigga like that. If he doing all that shit. I want to know the response. <laughs> she has to be white, right? Timestamp killer. No. <laughs> Thanks. We no. don't know. Yeah. She probably, nah. uh, you don't I, know. I don't think, of course I don't know. She Duh. could be. I'm being funny. He could be the white person and she's. No, I, I just don't see no black to, parents going is. to. I think you'd probably get some Caucasian parents to pull up to a no. crib to somebody's work before you get. And she said my work. I think that's more. She might be Hispanic. You think so? Could be that. Hmm. I think she is Hispanic. Sound like you gotta just get away from that. To me. Sound like she's doing all the right shit. 
She gotta separate herself. She ain't got no cousins like or brothers or nothing like that. Huh? She ain't got no cousins or brothers. Which uh, one? That would be the other, you know what I mean? Nah, she gotta give him some that's of that. That's option three. Yeah. yeah. We wanna laugh for you. <laughs> Come on, what's up? <laughs> Never mind. Come yeah. on. No, yeah, yeah, I wanna laugh. Yeah, well, I love to laugh. No, I'm good. While I'm here, I'll, I'll read y'all what Christopher James said and then I'm leaving. Where you going? I'm leaving this. Okay. How do you stay happy when nobody that you care about wishes to support anything that you do? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, this is a fan right Why? there. Wait. First Say of that all, again? How do you stay happy when nobody that you care about uh, wishes to support anything that you do? That's not My fiance topic. and I are both striving successfully to achieve our dreams, and we are completely alone in this. When we recently announced our engagement, we got more likes and comments from strangers on the internet than friends and family that we know in real life who have the ability to speak to us. When we cross a milestone, we celebrate it alone. We get that nobody understands us, but what's the point of all the success without a community to embrace it? Mm. You, never was go- you never know what's going on in their relationship. Like, the people from afar might not know all the toxic shit. It's possible, I'm just guessing. Like, so... I'm gonna give you another option. Like, ahead, if bro. your girl be doing bullshit... Uh-huh. And you do bullshit. Uh-huh. Her friends not gonna like you. You get what I'm saying? Your, her family not gonna like you, and right. vice versa. So when y'all announce y'all engagement, they like, yeah, yeah. And all it takes is because it's a two part, two person party. All it takes is one part of the party for me, for us to say, yo, we, oh, I don't like this because of her. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't like. This, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if yo, they could have been two assholes. Yeah. Right. Like I'm just saying, like shitting on, like which yeah. is better than the rest of you niggas, because we that all- could be it too. And and now nah niggas ain't happy to see your yeah, successes. Yeah. Fuck y'all. We don't care. That's true. It's so the strangers true. who don't know that y'all are assholes are yeah. We gonna like and comment everything you do. Mm-hmm. But the people that really know y'all, y'all could have been two dicks the entire time. Oh no, Chad then got caught cheating and punching you in your face, and mm-hmm. then Chrissy then got caught doing some bullshit. Mm-hmm. His sure. friends don't like you. Your friends, your friends don't, don't like him. him. So that, that means and nobody's that's it. there. Yeah, right. You know no. I mean? and friends, friends don't forget. At all. Friends and family don't forget. True. So when you tell your friends. Yo, he did such and such to me. Mm. Or you tell your friends, yo, I call her doing such and such. Your man be like, hey, what's on? Guys, expensive. Right. People waiting for reasons not to yeah. go somewhere. Dog. I don't like, like that bitch anyway. Hey, what's oh. on? It's another dog. Hey, what's on? <laughs> be like, hey. You be like, what's up? But they got each other, right? There they go. That's what's supposed That's, to matter anyway. Your you peace. Go. Like somebody else's, you know, somebody else's Who cares what they're grace. You know what I mean? You, you be wanting your family and friends like. to be happy. Nah, you for sure you know. do, but I'm not going to lie. If. If somebody else's like happiness is what's gonna control your happiness, you're gonna have a long, a long life. sad life. Yeah. Facts. You have to make yourself happy and be happy for yourself because ain't nobody else about to do that shit. Why or, can't people that say I ain't about to lie just not lie? Like why y'all gotta like, say that? What? Preemptive. Like, why they, why I always they, gotta yeah. say what he said back yeah. to myself. Like <laughs> no, when you say yeah, I ain't no, nigga, lie that's to when y'all. they be planning that's, that's, a lie. That's, that's first of all, that's, that's the, the time slang. to plan that's, a lie. Yeah, I can't even lie to you. Yeah, but that's, that's a, a slang. But that's why just, you just why won't you just be honest all the time? <laughs> like having because, having to fuck? say, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Says yo, you it's be just slang and you being old and leaning on the slang. Yo, I ain't gonna nice. lie. That's how you start the conversation. You guys you coordinate started. a lot. No, nah, it's sponsored by Polo. They got that manager, I'm telling you. <laughs> I tell you they had their unit, bro. Ever s- Wait, look. I'm here to change, man. Nah, nah, I keep nah, trying to tell you they got a polo deal. I keep trying to tell you something. Nah, polo, nah, look at the polo <laughs> brothers. <laughs> and they're like the Easter cult, like yeah, the pastels. They don't even know they baby. got the deal, though. They, they... But wait, who wore it better? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know they I don't got like the polo, polo with the Tim's. Like let me see what Ish did. Let me see. I got dirty sneakers. Put your foot up. Let me see. Chill out, Okay. Uh... How we got sleepers. We got sleepers. We got sleepers. I'm getting out of here. I don't care if there's more shit to report on. <laughs> I'm on Patreon and talk about y'all playing that R. Kelly. And there's a bop, too, when it come on. <laughs> Yo. Hey. That don't have me the only one at the kickback talking about, wait a second. I'll be right there. Oh, happy people. <laughs> Yeah, R. Kelly canceled. Yo, yeah, I ain't gonna hold yeah, you. yeah, we don't yeah. talk about on Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, they said they went through that a shit. Set. That that shit got... I'm looking around to see if niggas. Like, nah, nobody... they, nah, they was. I was like, oh, nah, niggas every, is in here jail. Everybody felt shit. better when that R came on. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with you? These fucking bro. stupid kids tried yeah, to get me. Right. Man, I hate you, kids. <laughs> Yo, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this part as much as we enjoyed giving it to y'all. Keep us in your prayers, Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. Wait a minute. I bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, au revoir, so long, goodbye. Also, life is a series of moments, and moments pass, so let's make this one last. 
as if it's all we have. And we do that partly by, hey, we gone, man. We'll be back same time, same place. We will not take off on Friday, I promise you. <laughs> well, I don't promise you. That Friday off felt good. I don't promise you. Right, nah, it <laughs> felt kind of good, I man. I don't promise Boy. you. All right, man, I'm jamming too much. Let me get out of here. Y'all hold it down. We'll be back. Everybody enjoy their week. See you on Saturday. Sunday for the YouTubers out there. Again, shout out to the ladies listening. Shout out to all the day ones and last day listeners. As soon as the hook go, we out. Enough, Daddy.